Alright. Ladies and gentlemen. Ah. Welcome, welcome, welcome to tonight's stream. Ah, how are you guys today? Ah. Busha. Welcome! Uh, hello, Inkling. Uh, hello, Spoicio. Hello, Tite. Hello, Freefall. Hello, your waifu. Hello, Ephraim. Uh, hello, Posby. Uh, hello, Priatox. Uh, hello, Noring Guy. Hello, Jerigon. Uh, hello, Cider Man. Uh, hello, Delta. Hello, Freefall. Is there anyone watching my stream for the first time ever? Say me, and I'll give you a shout out. I'll know if you're lying. Don't try to say me if you're a regular. I don't want to see any regulars saying me right now. Hotterino, shut up. You're waifu. You're liars. Thalso, you're a liar. Diaz Noon, you're a liar. What? You are all liars. Everyone says me. That's not cool, guys. Imagine. Imagine. Right now. There were some people who were like, Oh, oh, Manx told me to say something. I'm going to say something. And then you, you got overshadowed by the fact that... You got overshadowed by the fact that, you know, you just had to get that attention, you know? Greedy chat wants to be noticed by Senpai. Yep, pretty much. Uh, what if I'm an irregular? Oh, that's, that's a good point, actually. You know, fine. If you're irregular, then, uh, you know, you can be the irregular. Dude, I watched a lot of your streams for a long time. I know, that's why you're not supposed to say me. Duh. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's time to continue this Andro Saga Iron Man run. We're on chapter 22. We have no units left, but the units we have are pretty good. So I think we'll be fine. Do you guys think I have a chance to beat this Iron Man? Chapter 22 is a rough one. This one... It's very easy to game over if you lose Tandaris. So this one, I have to be on my A-game. I have to be on my A-game. Inside the throne room of the royal castle, Tandaris speaks to his remaining gods. Uh, he knows that his retainer will come, but he isn't certain she'll make it in time. As such, she gives one last speech. If you lose no one from now, maybe. My king, we are surrounded. The other guards have fallen. We are the only ones left. Jahira is on our way, but we do not know if she will arrive on time. Soldiers, you must stand strong. You must remain brave in the face of my brother's wickedness. You are our one true king. We will not listen to Il Roden's poison. We will defend you until our last breath. They call me a half-blood, a mongrel and deserving of the Timation throne. I am Batru's son, and I will show everyone how mighty his blood is. It has been an honor to serve alongside you. We are proud to fight, to die fighting for our king. No wonder my fa my father spoke so highly of you. You truly are one of my one of a kind, my harem. <coughs> I mean, my Drake guard. If we must die here, then let us go down in a blaze of glory for King Dorit and Doris for King Timot. Adrian, how many more soldiers are we going to lose before my brother falls? As many as we have to, my king. We have sent wave upon wave, wave, and yet my brother still stands. If this goes on for much longer, my men will lose faith in me. Then they fight valiantly, but little by little we chip away at their ranks. It is only a matter of time. What of the foreign invaders? We may not have much time. What if they breach through and hit our forces from behind? I should just charge the throne room myself and deal with Tandaris. That is ill-advised, my king. Please heed my words. If you fall, then this conflict would have been for nothing. Bah, this is outrageous. Send in more men. Kill them all! As you wish, my king. <laughs> Look at my units! Look, they prepared a welcoming committee for us. How nice of them. Let's kill ourselves some scalies! Ah. Oh boy, we have 12 units, ladies and gentlemen. We have 12 units out of 14 possible units. Let me show you my team, ladies and gentlemen. We have Jaka. My Jaka's pretty strong. I might give him an eternal seal. Uh, we have Helga, she's also pretty damn strong. I might give her an internal seal too. Lilinette, she's pretty strong too. Might give her an eternal seal. Dawn, she's pretty strong. I might give her an eternal seal. Uh, Albert, he's, he's pretty strong. I might give him an eternal seal. Haley, she's pretty strong. I might give her an eternal seal. <laughs> Caroline, I gave her an eternal seal. She is really strong. 
Aisha, ridiculously strong. I don't think she needs an eternal seal. Uh, Bjarki, also very strong. Theodore is great. We still, well, my Hofton has been leveling up like an absolute beast. I really like him. And we have Ash. Now, a lot of people wanted me to give the Solar Brace to Ash, but I actually think there is a unit that deserves the Solar Brace more. I get Natalie in the next chapter as a hero, and she starts out at level one, so she has 19 levels to go. And she's a regalia user, which I really need for the end game. So I think I'm actually gonna save my Solar Brace for Natalie. Um, Cause Ash has pretty high stats. I don't really think she needs it per se. Uh, Solar Brace is plus 5% to old world rates, which I think Natalie is going to utilize pretty well. Uh, anyway, let's see, uh, what do, yeah, 5% growth rates. It's not, nothing insane, but it's, it's like, I also think I'm going to Hamurn a rescue, because, okay, we have a Draco, Draco shield. I might just save the Draco shield for Natalie, honestly, to help, help her survive more. However, I do think Dawn has earned herself an Eternal Seal, because she is level 19. I'll, I'll give her the final level. Uh, we also have a Spirit Dust. I might just give that to... I think Ash is going to cap her magic regardless. I don't really know who would benefit more from Spirit Dust. Um, could give it to Albert, honestly, although I have a feeling he's going to cap magic too. Uh, or maybe Caroline? Huh, I'm not sure, actually. The actually, Theodore. Theodore, he only has 20 magic. He'll definitely benefit from it. There we go. He'll definitely benefit from it. Alright, holy symbol, there we go. And yeah, I'm going to Hamurn this rescue staff, because I realize that rescue staffs are insanely nice to have. I mean, who doesn't like rescue staffs, am I right? Uh, now, Ash is going to get her Meteor on turn one, so I should probably leave an item available for her. And then I think I'm going to do a... Okay, I have a Hamurn staff on Bjarki. Sorry, on, uh, on, on, on uh, Albert. Give him cursed boots. Uh, uh, I don't know about that. Seb, don't notify five bucks. Give Solar Brace to the Crazy Fire Mommy. She doesn't really need it, Seb. Like, her stats are already high, and she's gonna cap magic skill and speed, I think, regardless. So, I don't really think it's necessary. I think the Solar Brace is much better given to Natalie, because she starts at a level one, and her stats aren't the best for her joining time. So she'll need all the help she can get, basically. Ash has nice defense. She does indeed. She does indeed. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let us go. In this battle, you will gain control of Tendaris and his Drake guard. If Tendaris dies on the throne, or the throne is taken, you will get a game over. Your guards can fall, but you will be rewarded for saving them. Okay, I am going to try my best to, to get the Drake guard. We'll see. You guys know what this castle desperately needs? Flame Wisps! Everything is better with Flame Wisps. And of course, a nice blessing from Lord Pyrion himself. Oh, <laughs> yes, my powers have returned. Lord Pyrion favors me once again. That crazy priestess is going to get us all killed. The meteor will vanish after this map if it is not used. You cannot conserve it. Use it to smite a heretic of your choice. Ah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna use this on Adrian. Yeah, so... Adrian is right here. He's normally terrifying. Like, look at these stats. He has Pragmatic and Dragon Blood, so he deals 10 damage extra if he's on low health and you're on low health, um, or you are at full health. But, and you also have Ilroden over here. He's not as dangerous, but he's still a boss you have to deal with. So in this chapter, we get the Drake card. Uh, if you lose, if you keep them all alive, you get the ability to summon them for future chapters. This is very nice for Iron Man runs. I'm definitely going to try and get them. It's kind of hard to do on Lunatic though, so we'll see if I'm able to do it or not. Now, Tendaris, joins you in this chapter. He's a ridiculously strong mana keep. Uh, he has some of the best growth rates in the game, but he only has 10 levels, but this is why, why Eternal Seal is very good on him, because that, that pretty much guarantees he'll cap every single stat, which is very nice. He also has three leadership stars and Blood Tide, so he buffs the accuracy and damage of adjacent allies, which is insanely good. And, um... 
he has the Royal Stone, which deals effective damage against other dragons, the Magic Stone, which deals magic damage, and a Infinite Dragon Stone. So he has a lot of different things to use. This song is so good. Yeah, it really is good. And just to demonstrate how strong the Royal Stone is, Tendoris can one-shot Manicates with it. Which is very good. music is called like yeah the music of this chapter is incredibly good yeah so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna send the swordmaster down with the armor slayer and if you're unlucky here if you're unlucky here or if you're lucky you'll just get a crit which is really nice now one thing that you should definitely do here always is you should always move with Tendaris's group first because that allows you to heal them with the physics staff should they be damaged which is definitely something you want to do uh, so I think what I'm gonna do here now also a little bit of a troll right here Yup Yup PH just put boots on the Myrmidon Very very funny Frenchman very very funny Frenchman very very funny in order to get this you have to unequip one of your Drake card put them next to the uh, put put them next to the uh, Myrmidon and try to keep that, like, do not kill that Myrmidon, pretty much. So, of course, I'm gonna try and do it, because uh, I like doing it. I'm gonna try and get the boots, yeah. I'm gonna try and get the boots. Just use Warp Staff? That's, oh, wait, no, I can't even get the boots. I don't have a thief. <laughs> I don't have a thief! I can't get it! <laughs> I don't have anyone who can steal. So it doesn't matter. Sailor Moon, donor to five euros. Hello, Egg. I must work, but good luck. Thank you. Have fun at work. Not that you could ever have fun at work, but, you know. Brandon Williams, donor to 909 to Super Shop. Hey, the Mega Man 6 Nightman music is so incredibly based. However, I must consider it the easiest Mega Man. It shows you with energy tanks, while Mega Man's bass is one of the hardest since there's no tanks. I have literally never played a Mega Man game, so I have no idea what you're talk talking about. I did watch Summoning Salt cover the Mega Man speedruns. That's pretty much the extent of my Mega Man knowledge. Alright, let's go. Oh, that Fimble Veteran Caroline is juicy. So, little smart trick. Always move in first with Hot. Okay, actually, never mind. Don't do that. I'm gonna use my Fimble Veteran to kill this guy. Mangs, you gotta play Mega Man X. The antagonist is a bold dude named Sigma, really? A bold guy named Sigma. That's amazing. I love it. Half ton hit rates are the best. I know, right? I if I get skill books, I'm gonna give them to him. However, against Manakeets, it doesn't matter. He murders Manakeets. And always try to move Half ton in first because uh, his crit like crit reduction aura is very nice to get into the. Uh, his crit reduction aura is very nice to get into the to the fray. Is Magnus an egg self-insert? Yes, absolutely. So, I don't actually have that many units here, which is a bit of a problem. Let's see. Oh, I would. I can use the hammer with Bjarki. I don't know if I double, though. No, I definitely don't. So, we're gonna have to send in... Uh, we're gonna have to send in Aisha with the Dragon Axe to kill this guy. It's actually... This is actually a pretty tough turn one, especially when you're locked down two units. So, uh, we'll see if I can make something happen here. Bro isn't keeping Tendaris alive. You just watch me, bro. You just watch me, bro. So we do we do have to get rid of all of these guys. How do you know if it's a PH map? How do you know if this is a PH map? That's how you know if this is a PH map. You you select your cavalier, and you look at the exclamation marks on the map. That's how you know this is a PH map. Mangs, watching your stream while studying medicine. Have an exam on 59. Please may wish good luck and bless your stream. Sorry. Good luck. Good luck with your studies. I, I, I'm not sure if watching me is good for studying, but uh, try your best. All right. So uh, let's see. Meteor will make this a lot easier. It certainly will, for sure. All right. Dire Thunder time. Dire Thunder time. Didn't France used to have good cavalry? 
Yeah, in Age of Empires 2, they have the best paladins in the game. So I'm pretty sure their paladins were pretty good. Or paladine, as PH likes to say. Uh, okay, so I think we will use the... Uh, we have another dragon spear, but I don't know if we're in range to use it, so... Might just have to all spice it up right here, I think. Yeah, I think we're just gonna all spice it up and kill this Duke Knight. Use Meteor on the boss. I'm going to use Meteor on I Adrian. Yeah, so Ill Woden charges me. That's how I prefer to deal with this chapter. Adrian, Adrian was a drop. He did zero damage on resistance. Well, he has both a Trishula, which is a magical weapon, and a Brave Lance, which is physical. So, yeah. If you kind him in two range, that's definitely how you're supposed to deal with him. Okay, so we do have to be cautious here. Um, I think I'm just gonna move down like this. I think I'm actually going to... Yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. Oh, he doesn't have a Sword River? Ooh, that's actually really bad. I think Bjarki has one. No, I didn't bring Sword Weavers in this chapter? What the hell? I didn't bring Sword Weavers in this chapter. That's really bad. Alright, I'll just use the Light Brand to kill this guy. What's the secret of act, uh, of objective for this chapter? Uh... What is the... Just get the Drake Guard, I think. Yeah, literally just get the Drake Guard. Hit points and resistance for Dawn. How old is Tandaris? Ah, uh, he's around like 150 or something. He's pretty young for a mana key. Alright, can we... Oh, Bjarki cannot get the kill here. That's kind of sad. Although I do have to remember that we have... Gale Force with Helga, which is very nice. Secret objective is to keep the Drake card alive. Yeah, absolutely. Where's the secret event video? Uh, it's gonna come out tomorrow. Working on it. It's taken some time because it is a very long video. Oh, look at Albert. He's based. Can, can he maybe... What if I use Nightbringer? If I use Nightbringer, I have a very good chance to kill, but... Don't call her is probably better here. 28% chance to crit. It's a possibility. Yes! Let's go. You keep saying that, but it's never true. It takes a while. This is a very long video, okay? It, it's very... It takes a while, okay? Just like that guy in Better Call Saul says. You can't rush to process, you know? You can't rush to process. You gotta be... You gotta be patient. You gotta be patient. Oh, we got a support. Interesting. I think I'll just use uh, Helga to kill the Myrmidons, because they're kind of hard to kill for the other guys. I remember Dialog saying it was 500 years ago. Uh, to be fair, like, I've never really established ages not well in Elmeron Saga. They're kind of like, the characters are just like roughly in their mid, you know, what. He is young. It's a long video because it's a long game. Yeah, to give you perspective, I'm editing chapter 23 right now, and the video is already half a minute, half an hour long, so... Yeah, it, it, it does take a little while, let's just put it that way. Alright, I might have to heal Haley unless she gets a crit, which would be really nice. Okay, if she gets a dodge, that'd be really nice. Yes! Is Bethany still visiting you? Yeah, she's sleeping right now. <laughs> she fell asleep on the couch. So, she is sleeping behind me. Uh, my, maybe. Oh, nice. That's a good Haley level up. Yeah, she's wrapped in the blankets, sleeping very comfortably. Alright, so the question is right now can a little that? Oh, she just needs a little. Wait. Maybe there's a better tome I can use? Uh, nope. It's gonna have to be Elfire. At least I can knock the sage into. Uh, at least I can knock the sage into healing mode, or I could get a crit. That'd be nice. Why aren't you whispering like your Tracial Let's Play? Uh, because because I don't have to hide that I stream from Bethany, so I, I don't. You know. Back then, I actually used to be a little embarrassed over doing YouTube. Uh, okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll block like this. I don't think these guys move. No, they don't. The Great Knight moves, but he has a Bar- Oh, Bardish. 39 damage. Oh, boy. He actually hits kind of hard. That's... Anyway, uh, very smart to start barriering up your unit on this map. Very, very smart. 
I'm not gonna Meteor yet, I'm gonna Meteor Adrian. Hit points, skill, luck, defense, and resistance. All right, no speed for Ash, but still a good level up, all things considered. Albert dodged that every day. Yeah, I think he will too. Hmm. Meteor Bethany? Nah. Oh, she could. I'll show you what Bethany cooked for me today. It's really good. Let me let me let me pull up the picture. Oh, it's lagging. I'm I'm gonna show you guys what Bethany made made for me today. It was it was the best food I've ever had. Oh, nice. Good job, Albert. So this is what Bethany cooked for me today. It is Cajun chicken pasta. So basically. It's, she, she, she makes kind of like a cream, and she cooks chicken breasts, and there's like spaghetti in there. It's so good. It was so incredibly good. And she puts like green onions on there, and uh, she cooks it with like Cajun spices. It's like really spicy. It's really, really good. Clean your microwave? <laughs> no. It's never used. I, ne I never use my microwave. It's really good. Goy slop? That's not goy slop. That's quality food, my friend. Where did you find Cajun? Oh, she brought Cajun spices, so. No spicy, no lifey. Alright, let's go. Wow, what great flame wisps these are. Killed by an unpromoted sni uh, spy uh, spider, I almost said. Lord Hokaga asks, Thanks, for some reason, I've been fantasizing singing songs from our world, like Et Epitat of Roundabout to the Fire Emblem cast. If you were in this situation, what would you sing it to? What? I, I, what? I have no idea what that even means. I mean, I'm not really a singer. Like, that, that, that's a better question to ask to Bethany if she's awake, honestly. She sings a lot. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, good job, Flame Wisp. You're doing great. You're doing oh, wonderful, Flame Wisp. Softening up the drag. <laughs> oh, amazing. Yeah, the Wisp didn't die. I know, right? They don't all die, but most of them suicide on this mana keep, though. I'm not a singer, immediately starts humming the song right after, yeah, absolutely. No playable Flame Wisps? That'll be rectified in Amaran Saga too. We'll have we'll have playable Flame Wisps, Sama. Oh my god, Flame Wisp actually doubles, nice. Give us a playable Gorga. Should we really though? All right, so we need to decide who goes where. We, we need to send just a small party over here because, uh, again, uh, I'm just gonna Meteor Adrian. Now, that being said, Ash still cannot solo that side on her own. I think we'll send, uh, we'll send Halfdan and Yarki this way, I'd say. Can we kill this guy with a hammer? Not quite, but that's fine. We can soften this guy up with uh, Dawn first. Oh, she actually needs to use it Eternal Seal. Uh, we'll send Caroline over here together with Jaka. And then uh, maybe Haley together with uh, Albert. It's probably not a bad idea to have two healers on this side, just in case. Theodore this way. And then we'll send Lilinette over here as well. The mermaids have questionable sprites in this game. Yeah, they're definitely not great. They're the sprite I'm most unhappy with. A dragoon would have been cool. So we actually had ideas for a playable dragoon. There was a talk of maybe Jaka promoting to a dragoon, but it didn't really fit thematically because he doesn't really have dragon blood, you know. So it just didn't. It just it didn't really end up working out, you know. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You don't see mermaids so much. Yeah, but like, what will a playable like a playable mermaid is pretty bad though, right? Because, like, um, what are you supposed to like? <laughs> what are you supposed to do with them? You know, like, 
What do you do on land-based maps? Do you just, like, waddle around? If only Crixus didn't exist and instead was a Dragoon. Well, I think it's cooler that he's a gladiator, don't you think so? Kayla donated 199 to Super Chat. Sing Lost in Thoughts all alone. Okay. Alright. Well, let's sing it. Lost in Thoughts all alone. Uh, let's see. Uh, lyrics. I gotta have. I gotta have the lyrics. Ah, there we go. I hope- thanks, Kayla, I hope you got something out of it. <laughs> uh, it's not a copyright. That song is actually not copyrighted. I'm- I'm fairly certain it's not, at least. I- I hope it's not. Yeah, literally, Bethany woke up because of my singing. That- that's how good it was. Um... Let's see... Uh, let's see, let's send Haley over... here? Hua. Why did you make Helga so busted? It wasn't really our intention, she just kind of turned out that way. You know, these things, they happen. Let's see. Okay, so I need to seriously think when it comes to Tendaris, though, because this is very, very, very scary. This is very scary, so... We have... I definitely need to keep Tendaris out of range of this guy. That, that is for sure. So, I'm gonna use the Royal Stone to kill this guy. Uh, and then I gotta... It's, it's very important not to overextend here, but to also be effective. So you don't get overwhelmed. So we have this guy who I think has a... Yeah, he's a Dragon Axe. This is like the scary part. Uh, the Swordmaster is not vulnerable to Dragon-only weapons, though. But he also... So I think we definitely... We want the Swordmaster in the front, I think? Yeah, we want the Swordmaster in the front. I think we can use the Drake. So what does this guy have? He has a... This guy has the Dragon Spare, so... But we can trade that. We can trade that. Uh, so I think what we want to do then is we want to... We want to move in with the Brave Lance. Kill the... Kill the Vyvern. Or sorry, kill the kill the Myrmidon. Rise from a thousand years. Oh, you're awake. I was like, what the fuck is Bethany talking in chat? Oh, she's actually awake, okay. Hey, you're finally awake. Um So if I Okay. If I use the Armor Slayer, there's a chance that 
did I already fuck up? Maybe. Actually, no, I think I'm good. What does this guy have? He's a flame lance, so... Uh, this guy does 42 damage. I already fucked up, didn't I? I think I did. If I equip an Axe Reaver on this guy, then the Dragon Axe might not hit me, which is good. Yeah, so I think I'll put an Axe Reaver here. And a Flame Lance here, maybe, and then I could also pop some Holy Water. Yeah, because this guy will attack. I can try and trick this guy into going for the Swordmaster, who won't, who won't attack back. I think that's actually... Or I could even attack with the Life... Nah, never mind. Uh, Life Prime is Weapon Triangle, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll equip an Armor Slayer. Let's see, what's your speed? 24. 15. So, as long as I grab myself a Holy Water, I should be... Honestly, like, grabbing holy water on all of these guys is actually pretty smart. Just heal the Swordmaster? Yeah, I will. I think my I think my Dragoons are fine here. I'm pretty sure the Dragoons are fine. Why does the Swordmaster have a life brand instead of the Flame Sword? Because I think the Flame Sword was added later. Right. So now, we just gotta make sure... The dragon's dragon axe doesn't get to hit the dragoon. And we, oh, okay, never mind. Oh, that was scary. That was scary. That feel when no playable dragoon. What are you talking about? You got two right here. Oh, Undevitable donated 20 bucks. Hello, Manx. I am up to chapter 19 of Andron Saga, and I really love it so far. The level design, the characters, and the writing are great, and the music is amazing. You and your team's passion for Fire Emblem really shows. Thank you for an amazing hack. Wow, thank you so much for this. This, is, this really makes me happy, guys. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad you're enjoying it. That makes all of it worth it. Makes me want to get Rebellion Saga out quicker. But I will not give uh, make any promises there. We need a class randomizer. That would require a rebuild. Yeah, so I plan to do a seven chapter rebellion prequel. But I have no promises on what that's actually out though. Mm. Rebellion, so yeah, it's a seven chapter prequel. Ooh, give me that Hamern. Ooh, wait, can I even can I even reach that? I don't know. Oh, we got we got company. We got company. Luckily I have Gale Force, so I can just go swoop de whoop. We need to see more of the Lightbringer Dynasty. Oh yeah, I plan to. You'll see you'll see Alanda's brother. You'll see Kethus. You'll see a lot of cool stuff. Okay, and now what we gotta do is we just gotta stay. I mean, I guess Helga could always go and kill actually No, I'm not in range to kill the dragon. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just back off here. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to back off here. I'm gonna have to play it a little bit safe because uh Move to doors first. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Holy shit. Yeah. Always move to doors first. You can physic him if something goes wrong. So here we have a silver lance and a elf fire and scorch. So you want to want to kill this side first for sure. We got to be careful. There's a worm slayer here, so don't put Tendi in range of that. But always kill the manakeet first because they're the most scary, and then kill the dragoons later. If Alanda has a brother, doesn't that ruin Mortimer's line of my three siblings? Not if he dies in the rebellion. Not if he dies in the rebellion. Yeah, but he wouldn't know about it. He says of my three siblings, implying the ones who are still alive. I mean, I'm not saying he's gonna die, but, like, 
you, you can probably assume that most of the characters in that hack are gonna die. I'm just saying, it's a Rebellion prequel. But maybe he'll- maybe he won't die, you never know. She literally gave an endgame spoiler. I didn't say that he died, I'm just saying he wouldn't if he died. To save space? <laughs> oh, hi, Cyan, how are you doing? Alright, so we have some dragons here. Let's send Caroline in first. With the Elphia. I am just not gonna mess with that. Let's do a barrier on Haley. What does Bethany think of Elmona's song? I'm pretty sure she likes it. I mean, she has no choice, she's my girlfriend. She has to like everything I make. So, there, there's not really any neutrality over here. Oh shit, I'm, I need to move Tendaris first. I need to stop doing this, this is so annoying. Uh, Alright, so do we have a Dragon Spear? Yes, we do. That is not gonna be a kill though, but we can heal, so it's fine. There we go. Can Mommy Beatrice please prepare a playable? She might. She might. Alright, so we have a... Uh, how, how scary is the Swordmaster? Silver Sword. 23 speed. So if we put... Uh, what's the luck here? 13 luck. 27 crit. 145 hit. 57 avoid. Yeah, it's still scary to... We probably don't want the Swordmaster to be able to attack, so... We might just leave this one alone... We could put a Brave Lance with Weapon Triangle, but, uh, let's see. The Worm Slayer has 9, 18, 27. It's like a lot of damage. So I think we're just gonna have to leave this one alone, you guys. Put Swordmaster on a pillar. I could do that. I don't know if it's a good idea, though. But then again... Okay, what's the weight of the Brave Sword? What's the con of the Drake card? Hmm... Probably a good idea to use an arm. You know what? Fine. I think this is fine. It's a tanky Drake card. We gotta do something, am I right? Hmm. The Throne is a game over condition? Yeah, but they... they won't... So, they won't go for the Throne if they can attack. They won't go for the throne if they can attack. They'll always attack first and then go for the throne. They won't they won't run past you and go up here, for example. They'll they'll always attack if they're able to. So that's fine, really. And let's uh, I say we equip uh, I say a brave sword is probably a good thing to equip here. The game has said that Kathis only had one kid. Uh, stop retconning. Wait, what? No, Alanda. Alanda was not Kathis's only child. Where, where did you get that, Hanako? It says no, no, no. It, ha Alanda is described as the last surviving daughter of Kathis. The last surviving Lightbringer that they know about. So, Hanako, get that nerd emoji off, like, out of chat. You are, you are dumb. I know my own game. Actually? Ah, shit. That's actually a bit annoying. Uh, she might proc another flare? No, okay, she didn't. You should give Ilanda a hot older sister. Okay, Zelda Crafter. Okay, so what do we have here? We have some... Okay, we gotta be careful with Hopton here. He is barriered up, but still. He is barriered up, but still. Probably wanna re-barrier him, honestly. PH, uh, remove what? Magic on Hopton? I just got magic on Hopton! Wow! That's incredible. Magic on Hopton, ladies and gentlemen. That's not every day. Oh, wait, what happened to my barrier? Oh, oops. Well, I guess that happened. Oh, cool! We 
we finally have the support. Bah, the southern air stinks. Is this your first time outside of Hornheim? Indeed, I spent all my life in the mountains. What about you? A few times on raids. Raids, pah, a royal way to earn a living. You have never partaken? With that, with what ships? Clamber Cirque lives far up in the mountains. We have no means of sailing south even if we wanted to. How did you survive? Hunting mostly, elk, reindeer, and bears. Sounds tough. It is our way of life. We of Clan Berserk lives the same way our ancestors did. We are the oldest clan in Hornheim, and the most in touch with our roots. Hmm, I can respect that. You're a good lad, Bjarki. After all this is over, you should pay us a visit. Maybe. You're a man of few words. You certainly don't speak just for the sake of it. No. <laughs> but you're our finest warriors I've ever seen. That is what's important. Hmm, you as well. They drink bears? Yeah, they drink bears, guys. We need the shitty Norwegian accent back. Oh! <gasps> oh! That's right! Sorry, guys, I forgot that I read Viking dialogue with Norwegian accent! Cursed chance to donate two bucks for Super Chat. During my second playthrough, about to do chapter 24. Oh, have fun, it's the best chapter in the game. MC Banana donated 20 euros through Super Chat. Is this the Manx? Hello! No, actually, uh, you stumbled upon the fake Manx's channel. Uh, the, the, you're looking for Danks. You gotta sub to him. I am just the fake imposter Manx who's just imitating everything he does. So, uh, okay, here we go. Don't crit me, bro. Don't crit me. Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo. Wait, am I gonna get doubled? Am I gonna get doubled? No. Okay, good. That was a little scary. Yeah, Wangs. You gotta be careful about Wangs. Oof. Okay, I really don't like the fact that the Sage got hit. Now I gotta physic her up. Oh, wow. Drake guard bad. It doesn't even double. What the hell? Oof. Okay, things are getting a little dicey over here, you guys. We got a lot of guys to kill here. Oh no, don't scorch me, daddy. Manx, from the Saga 2, we need a plot device that kills characters if they say a specific word. I don't know, that sounds like a really boring concept, Hanago. I don't think anyone would watch that. Aw, oh, let's go, Bjarki. Hunting bow strats, let's go. Icemeyer asked Manx, I'm at the final chapter, but I failed once right at the end. And the fact that I have to... Took the pact with us more. <laughs> Yeah, you got yourself to thank, buddy. I mean, you signed a deal with the devil. Maybe you shouldn't have done that. I'm just saying. Maybe you shouldn't have done that. The throne? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm gonna protect the throne, don't worry. Crimson Field, donated 10 bucks. Running through the fourth playthrough now on Lunatic Secret Objective Iron Man and still finding out new stuff with each playthrough. Thank you, Manx, and your team for this awesome game. Wow. Secret Lunatic Playthrough. Oh boy, that sounds hellish. I am so sorry for the shit. Ah, okay. oh, no, he runs away with my rescue staff. No. Okay, uh, things are getting a little dicey up at Tandaris Gangland now. I, um. Here's the thing I can, if things get really rough, I can use a meteor to get myself out of this, and that's certainly something I can consider doing. Uh, but we have a lot of shit to do right now. We have, uh, we have, uh, this guy with the Worm Slayer. This guy only has a Silver Lance, though, so that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, we can use Tendaris to kill this guy. We should be safe from any danger. Meteor Adrian to get rid of him and, and kill seven leadership. Yeah, I, I plan to do that, sweetie. I plan to do it. I like how Bethany is backseat gaming me in chat, even though she's literally behind me. Um, so what we need to do now is we need to kill the sage, but we can do that easily. Okay, so I need to think. I need to think. So I think, yeah, we can use the Swordmaster, I think, with the Armor Slayer to kill this guy. And this is a kill, 100%. But we might have to use two Physics Staves this turn. Ow! Behind you, I thought she was under your desk. Ha ha. Manx has to think. Oh, I'm I'm pulling out the thinking cap. And then we'll use this Drake guard. 
with a... I would really have preferred if this was a lance, but I guess... Uh, actually, there might be a way for me to do that, yeah. I'll just trade. I'll trade the Brave Lance. Give me the Axe Reaver. Oh, no! Oh, no, I didn't... I thought this would kill! God damn it! Uh, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Most important part is I have a Brave Lance here. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, it's not the end of the world. I'll just have to use the Sage to kill the Sword Master. And then I have to use a Physic. Yeah, I have to use two Physic Staves this turn, which is not great, but... Oh, really, Albert? You don't have the range? Are you shitting me? I'm gonna have to use Ash, then. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use Ash. Actually, I probably need to use Lilinette. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use Lilinette. Da, na, 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 na. Yep, I'm gonna have to use Lilinette. Lumina is really good for this chapter. Yeah, this this is probably the best Lumina chapter, I think. Yeah, because it heals all the Drake Guard, which is just so incredibly good. Um, so, here's the thing. Yeah. We have to kill... Okay, here's the question, though. Is it possible for me to reach the Swordmaster at all? I might... If, if I don't, if I want to get the Drake Guard, I might actually have to meet here. here. Yep. Yep. If I if I want the Drake card alive, I have to. Well, here's the thing though. This could be this guy could be in heal mode. There's a physic here. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. If this misses, I am screwed. Oh. oh, ho, ho, ho. Equip the Lance Weaver? Well, I can't get close, so. Oh, I could have gone there and traded it. I'm so stupid. Yeah, you're right. There was definitely a play. I could have traded the Lance Weaver. I could have traded the Lance Weaver. Okay, so what's your hit rate? 121. Um... Yeah, I'm probably not going to get the Drake card. Unless this guy goes into healing mode and runs back, that could be the case. Yeah, I'm not at this range. Definitely not. Yeah, I could have I could have equipped the Lance Reaver. Oh well. Guess I won't get the Drake card. Da, 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 da. It's fine. Can Ash not use the Ash is not in range. Can you reach with rescue physics? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, let, let's let's check what Asha's staff range is here. So she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's just out of range. It is just out of range. Unless I, if I had given her spirit dust at the start. I can meteor, but then I won't I won't be able to meteor Adrian, which but I will get the Drake guard, which can be nice. Should I should I use the meteor to get the Drake guard guaranteed? Albert will not be in range, guys. He has less magic than Ash. Okay, I'm I'm a, I'm a pull it. I'm I'm going to pull it, ladies and gentlemen. I I I I don't know what what I should do here. If I should save the meteor for Adrian or if I should use it for the Drake card. The Drake card are pretty nice to have, especially in like Tomb of Horrors and stuff like that. So let me. Uh... Let Let's do a pull. I'm gonna let, let democracy decide. PH's favorite strategy. Alright. Do, 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 do. 
Adrian is tough? He's not that tough. The Drake card might die to a crit anyway, and this is true. Oh, PH loves democracy. Of course. Let me see, what kind of supports do we have available here? Jaka Aisha. Halga Halfdan? Should I do Halga Halfdan? I mean, I guess there's no, no point in not doing Halga Halfdan anymore, right? Hmm. Yeah, sure. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's do Jaka Aisha. Aisha, enough is enough. You're going to get yourself killed if you keep this up. Ah, this again? I'm fine. You're absolutely not fine. If it weren't for our healers, you'd be dead already. Ha! I'm just keeping them busy. Can't other than go getting bored. Aisha, you miss your family, don't you? What? The hell are you talking about? I know a little something about being suicidal, believe it or not. Don't think I cannot see it. Huh? You better shut up. You know nothing about me. You pretend like you just love to fight, but I can tell what's really going on. And what's that? You want to die. You will get your wish if this keeps up. Shut up, you know nothing. It's not your... I'm not your dad. And if you want to go ahead and die so badly, throw yourself off a cliff. However, stop risking the lives of my men with your recklessness. That's an order. Very dark. Extremely dark. I'm not your daddy. Whoop! Alright, there we go. Level up for Jaka. 72 HP. My goodness, this guy gets some HP. Alright. Let's rush. Oh shit, she can't rescue. Okay. But you know what? That's fine. She can rescue Haley. Alright, uh, what's the democracy count at? Yes! 54% says use the meteor. Okay. Okay. There we go. The meteor has been used, ladies and gentlemen. Why can't Helga fly over the lava? Because there's walls? I guess? I don't know. Ba 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 ba. Still shitty meteor animations. Okay, you're shitty. All right, let's heal up. Uh, we can use physics like this to heal up Yarki. How much would a meteor tell himself for if you could take it to a store? Uh, also, why are the physics? Sound Have you guys noticed that my staff sound effects aren't playing properly? There's like a bunch of sound effects that are not playing properly at all. It's really weird. I am not entirely sure why. Should he use the Hellfire animation? Well, I didn't want to. Well, actually, you're probably right about that. The Hellfire animation actually suits it much better. Alright, hello, Mr. Duke Knight. Uh, just an, I don't think Tendaris doubles you. Just a shame. Sound effect of Meteor should be the Valhalla Betrayal. Yeah, that would have been great. Another final, final verse thing coming. Yeah. Final, final verse thing coming soon, guys. No Flame Wisp Summer! Hey, Mangus, guess what? I passed my driving test today because of your encouraging words. By the way, I have one more in about a month. If you have another driving test, then how come you succeed at this one? Dumbass. <laughs> okay, I mean, congratulations. I'm so glad you can drive now. Please don't kill anyone. <laughs> I, I don't really know what I said, though. I hope it was nice. I love being a toxic streamer, you guys. That's my favorite thing to do in the whole world, wide, wide world. Alright. Picking up these guys and rescuing them is always a nice thing to do. Oh shit, I don't think I brought a chest key for the for this chest. Unless the ro ah, there's no way I'm reaching that guy. There's just no way. Wait for the units to spawn on the side. Oh shit, I just realized though. 
I have a very, like, low... I don't know if this... Actually, I have Dawn. As long as I have Dawn, I cannot lose. Yeah, I, I literally have Dawn, like... And I have Albert to pull Adrian with, so... Alright. Again, though, I need to stop moving with Tandaris. Um, okay, so we have a Sage to kill. We have a Brave Lance to do it with, which is nice. The Brave Lance kill- Oh, what? Oh, that sucks. Luckily, we have the Light Brand, but still. Dawn is Dawn, but she can't survive against an army. She can take on Adrian, though. That That's fine. Keep in mind, I'm also not getting Miriam, Miriam or Leonora as a miniboss this chapter, so it should be fine. Um, okay, who has the most strength out of these two? 20 strength? 19 strength. So if I trade the Brave Lance, it should be a kill. Ah, look at that. Bless you, sweetie. Hmm. I oh, the Dragoon criticals are so nice. I love them. I love them. They are absolutely amazing. Oh, a droppable Warp Slayer. Let's go. I think I've saved the Drake Guard now. I don't I don't think anything else is gonna pose a threat at this point. Use Tendari's skill to buff the Drake Guards. Oh! You're oh, that's right! He gives fine damage to adjacent allies. Ah that's right. Do you get the Dragonheart Guard items handed to the convoy after the map is over? I don't know, did we fix that PH? Did we fix that PH? I don't remember if we did. If not, final, final version of ROM incoming. Okay, can Lilinette heal? Let's heal up Tandaris, why not? Lilinette can just stick around here. Oh shit, wait, Apollo's gonna show up. I need to get her out of there. Mang's forgetting the skills in his own game. Hey, man, there's a lot of skills in this game. What's the point of the droppable Worm Slayer if they don't get added? Well, you can always just trade them away, if possible. That's a thing you could do. All right, we got another squad incoming. What happened to Lily? She's just standing there. Oh, there we go. We got some new friends right now. Oh, so you know Andron Saga? Name all of the playable characters. Here's the funny thing, I probably could do that. Yeah, I know I'm re-barriering half done. I don't, I don't care. Nice PH reinforcements. Guys, there are reinforcements in Fire Emblem games. Get over it, okay? No, I need reinforcements in my Fire Emblem game. That's how you sound like, guys. How's Bjarki on the... He's got 14 rest, which is actually pretty good, but these guys got Scorched. Oh, look at that, though. Brave Lens. Not a big fan of that. Let's get some uh, short axes going here. We can probably use Daybreak to kill one of them, maybe? Or maybe even an Aura. I think that's probably a good idea. Minx doesn't take criticism well. <laughs> I was joking. I was joking! There's still a bug when you resume Chapter 2X. For some reason, this still appears with 0 HP. Yeah, it says in Chapter 1X that if you resume Guiding Chapters, weird things happen. I have no idea why this happens. It's just, it's just how it is, I guess. You know what? Albert Dawn, better at dealing with these guys. TBH. I like units that don't move, easy to kill. Thanks about that two minute video. What? What, Hanako? What about the two-minute video, Hanako? What about it? Huh? You got something to say, Hanako? You got something to say, Hanako? <laughs> the two-minute video sucks, man. Good call on you refusing to show it. <laughs> exactly, that's what I said. Alright, uh, can Haley? Oh wow, Haley double swordmasters. What a girl. 
Magnus, play 30 hour game Cold Rev. No, I will not. However, the more I think about it, the more I- Oh shit, I was actually not gonna do that. I was gonna use Jaka to kill the sniper. How come green dust isn't allowed in Norway? Wait, it isn't? First time I hear about something like that. Manx, did you hear about the Brazilian who walked into the store? She left because she had no money. The Brazilian who went into the store, she left because she had no money? What? What? I don't get it. The Brazilian who went into the store, she left because she had no money? What? I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. What's, what's funny about it? It's just Brazilians are poor? Is that is that the joke? I have no idea what makes this funny. I have no idea why that's even funny. That's so weird. Alright, so we have a flame lance right here. Definitely want to enemy face these guys. Uh, what does this guy have? A dragon spare? And a flame lance. I think I'll put Tendaris here to buff the Drake guard, and then... I guess we'll just do a... Just do a holy fire, I guess. Yeah, probably a good idea. I think we can trade a Worm Slayer. Yeah, let's trade the Worm Slayer over here. We also have a Holy Water to use, if need be. It's funny because she left when she had money. I don't get it. I really don't get the joke. Like, is it just that she doesn't have money, or what? Ow. My Helga's a little frail. I'm wondering if maybe if I get an Angelic Robe, I should give it to her, maybe. So that rogue is gonna steal what's ever in that chest. If it's not a rescue staff, then maybe I can uh, get whatever's in it. I don't remember what's actually in it. Let's find out. She needs a Draco shield? I don't really think she'll benefit that much from the Draco shield, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Hmm. Maybe, maybe ChatGPT. Maybe the recent- oh shit. Ho, 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 ho! Albert could have died! Albert could have died! Oh, wow. He so easily could have died here. What the hell? Woo! Oh my goodness. He so easily could have died here. Alcacer, donut and one on an ship chat. Why do the Drake cards all have the same portrait? It's because you can only assign. So the Drake cards all have technically the same ID. You can only assign a single portrait to an ID. It's a ROM limitation, basically. Uh, basically, the Drake cards are just. They all share the same ID, but they have different classes. Um, so that that's why they look like that. Spring, donut at 10 bucks. Huh? 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 I don't get what it means by that, but it's spring. I mean, spring. Spring does what spring spring does, you know. Oh, fiery chant. I don't really give a shit about that. I'm still gonna try to get it, but yeah, I don't really care. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's a lot of units. Okay. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is uh, we are going to let Halfdan. I'm gonna let Halfdan and Bjarki deal with these guys, I think. But we'll give him a, a, a pure. We'll give him a boot. Oh, she's not in range. That sucks. I guess we'll just rebarrier Halfdan again. There are dancers in this game. Believe it or not, there actually are. Yeah. Yeah, and then we'll put. Let's see. What does this guy move? Yeah, he does. He has a flame lance. So right now, Hofton has, like, 20-plus resistance, and he'll have the support with Bjarki, so... I think Hofton will absolutely murder here. Uh, what does these guys have? They have a Silver Lance, Silver Lance, Sword Reaver. Hmm. It should probably be safe for Hofton to go here. 
I, I have a feeling they're gonna go for Halfdan over Bjarki, so I'm gonna put them like so. And then I'll just put... I'll put... Actually, may, maybe I can pull this guy with, with Dawn. That would actually be kind of nice. Balloon? Oh, shit. Uh... Uh, yeah, Luna is indeed still a thing. It's okay, though. I believe in the brothers. I believe in the bros. Okay, so here, we're definitely killing one of these guys with uh, Helga. Uh, this, is, this is not a kill, is it? Oh, shit. Uh, what about this guy? That is not a guaranteed kill, either. Okay, can I kill the Manakeet, at least? Not without dying. Yeah, I, I cannot risk Helga being left there with low health. That is just not happening. Why didn't I give her an Elwin? Should have given her a Wind Tone. This was dumb. That is not a kill either. What if I use Ragnarok, though? Not guaranteed. That's a kill. You can kill the Viber Knight with Ragnarok. I know. Okay, what about... This is not a guaranteed kill, though. Yeah, that's not a guaranteed kill, so it's probably not worth it. Nosferatu tank? Uh, no. No. I think this one definitely goes to Jaka and Caroline, I think, on the stairs. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we'll put... 27 times 2 is 50. Yeah, I know that. That's not my issue. It's... What about the Sage? Can we kill the Sage? We actually can. Yeah, the hit rates just aren't reliable enough. But I have a Holy Water here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Holy Water up Jock and Caroline, like so. Put them on the stair next to each other where they deal a crap ton of damage, and uh, they're just gonna deal with these guys. I know Life Taker, I am well aware of Life Taker, but I, I don't have a guaranteed chance to kill any of these guys. The only one I actually have a guaranteed, ch guaranteed chance to kill is the Sage right here. So I'm actually gonna do that. Like, I just wanna kill something. Caroline is protected by Void Shield. Well, oh right, she can't get Scorched. That's actually a good point. There we go. And that's a level up for Helga. Hit points, magic, speed, and resistance. Let's go. Max, can you design the? Can you explain the philosophy of the plus one uh, plus one speed stat boosters? I can. It's just so that we can have more stat boosters as rewards. That's that's really that's really it, really. Because when there's when there's uh, when there when there's less power in each stat booster, you can have more of them spread out. Helga used the meteor, yeah. All right, so they do have axe reavers, so we definitely don't want Aisha to deal with more that more of these guys than she has to. And then we can put you here. Theodore can stay here and give Guardian to both Aisha and Caroline. God, I love passive skills. Alright, so here's the question. Can we... If I trade the Brave Lance, I can kill these guys. And I definitely will. Can I get a skill proc? No. Pray that the enemy goes for the Wisps. They probably will if the Wisps are in range. Wait, can I... Okay, good. I can trade... Brave lands like this, and oh god, it's not a kill. Well, I'm kind of stuck with it now. I'm just gonna hope I don't get crit. Oh, ho, 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 ho! <laughs> I'm so lucky. Oh, I'm so lucky. Oh, disgusting. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I love it. Unreal. <laughs> I know, right? It's the best. It's the best. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't use the Royal Stone. If I miss this, technically I could die. 
just something fun to tune down. Like, 2% mischance and a 2% crit chance. If the stars align, things could go very poorly for me. And uh, I'm just staying on the safe side here with the Drake guards. Let's get Lilinette up here with some healing. Um, maybe I'm being a bit paranoid right now, but uh, I don't want anything left up to chance. I'd say the Meteor was worth it. Getting the Drake Guard is going to make this Iron Man run a lot more bearable. Although they can be annoying in some chapters. They're very good in the Tomb of Horrors, for example. I love them there. Oh no, it's a sh the Land Streamer. Whatever shall I do? Look how powerful Jockeye is next to his waifu. Like, A rank. Let's go. Do the Drake Guards have buffed staffs on Lunatic? No, they do not. They do not. Uh oh. I didn't see that that guy was in range. It's okay though. It's okay though. So I'm recently playing Radiant Dawn for the first time and I'm getting my butt kicked. I just finished Path of Radiance and Ike and like only died. Oh, what the hell? I didn't even see that this guy was in range. What the hell? Where did he come from? Mang, stop overextending your Drake guards. Uh. Okay, that's a Vibrant Lord, not a Vibrant Knight. Good job, Aisha. Very good, very good. Oof. I can do this. The Dragon won't help you at all if you kill Tandari, so be careful with him. Yup. Good point. Okay, here we go, here we go. Vibrant's incoming. If Hofton doesn't crit here... Actually, even if he does crit, he, it wouldn't have mattered. Oh, nice. The, yeah, cool. The Vibrants are actually going first here. That's very good. Ooh, let's go Bjorki! Why are there three playable Berserkers in this hack? Correction! There are four playable Berserkers in this hack! No, wait. Oh! Oh, shit, that hurts. There are... Oh, wow. They double him. Bjarki gets doubled by these Vibrant Knights. Let's go. Yeah, there's there's Walfnir, too. Does Caroline one-run this guy? If she crits, she will, actually. My goodness, what a strong unit. Killing a dragon with fire. Let's go. When you were creating the hack room, was there another marriage option for Jaka? Uh, no, Jaka has, has just gotten more wife as time gone by. Jaka wasn't supposed to support with Jakira. The Hanako wouldn't shut up about it. She kept tagging me every day. I was like, Jaka, Jaka, uh, Jaka Jahira support. Jaka Jahira mating call. Magnus, Mangs, 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 make Jaka able to romance. <laughs> and then in the end I just got so tired of her whining so I just added it. So you can you can thank Conoco for that, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, okay. There were two great knights in range here. Gotta be more careful. Oh no! Rogue, come back! Come back, Rogue, come back! This guy one-shot sages. What the hell? So we can get things we want for by whining constantly. Well, not anymore. You can't. No. Yes, sweetie. I mean, you can. Oh, what is he already here? What? I didn't realize he came so quickly. That's what she said. Oh, hi there, Apollo. Are you here? Oh boy, I that was fast. Oh boy, we gotta run. We gotta run, we gotta run. I wish I still had the meteor. <laughs> I wish I still had the meteor. Let's run, guys. Do you get anything for killing him? Well, you get experience. Uh, he's not even a threat. Not if I clear the chapter, no. Do, 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 do. 
It's Jover. It's kind of... I think we fucked up on Apollo. He's supposed to say something when he shows up, but he's not for some reason. I guess final... final ROM releasing soon, guys. You can kill him, is super weak. Okay. He's too base to talk. Is he that weak? Let me check. Oh yeah, he's not strong at all. What the hell? We don't need to be worried about this guy at all. Yoink. Alright, so I'll pick up... Uh, so annoying that, that Caroline can't carry Jaka. I gotta be completely honest. I really don't like that. But it's fine. Let's just make our way up here. Silver Sword. Not gonna risk Helga taking a crit. That doesn't sound like a smart idea to do. Also, I need to stop moving with these guys first. So, this guy has a Dragon Spare, so we gotta be more careful. Uh, this guy has a Short Spare. So, I think we should probably run away at full speed here. We'll use the Flame Lance to kill this guy. Can we mirror Apollo in Andron Saga too? No, you cannot. Hit points, magic Oh, ho, ho, Drake Guard Chan, let's go! Drake Guard Chan, let's go! So, here's the thing. If I attack here, what does this guy have? Okay, so neither of these guys have dragon slaying weapons, so that means that Tandaris is absolutely fine here. So that means that Tandaris is absolutely fine. I mean, he has what? He has 18 base defense. And this guy deals 29, so that's like 11 damage. And Tandaris is not going to get crit. He has 15 luck. He'll be fine. Should he use the magic stone there? Yeah, maybe. Fill up the party with Drake Guard. <laughs> Drake Guard Saga, let's go. Thanks, there's a glitch with Apollo. When you reach Max Cap Unit, he doesn't spawn, but he talks. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we'll be fixed in the clock cut coming September 2042, guys. That's, uh, that's uh, how we're gonna delegate that. Yeah, I think actually having him use his uh, magic stone is probably better, I'd say. So we're gonna do that. Just driving you mad since motors make revving sound? Yeah, I hate everything that makes a revving sound. You're absolutely right. Rev just triggers me so much. Okay, this was a little bit scary. I don't like these vibrants at all. I think we're gonna have to kill them. Uh, but we also have to heal Bjarki, so... Do we have any drag? Yes, I think you have a drag, Max. Let's use that, I guess? Nice job, half done. Then we can probably trade it to Bjarki and kill the other guy. I love that if Mengs and no one else knew of that glitch, it means that they also didn't get her with a full party. Um, just because, I mean, we may, we may very well know of a glitch, we just forgot to fix it. That happens all the time. So-called free thinkers when Rev is mentioned. Oh. Uh. This is scary. I don't like this. I don't like this. Alright, let me use the... Let me, these, these Viver Knights need to die. These Viver Knights need to die. Okay, what if Dawn uses her aura? Oh, that doesn't double. Ugh. But this will kill. Light Brand OP. I love her sassy pose. It's so good. Okay, there are two Scorch Mages, though. I'm not a huge fan of that. I think they're probably gonna go for Bjarki. Maybe I should put... Actually, yeah. You know what? I'll put I'll put you in front. Because uh, Albert has the Dawn Caller, so he's very good at avoiding those guys. Of course, maybe I should have checked what weapon the Dragoon has. Ah, I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Um, double crit? Okay. That scared me a little bit. Oh, Huntin' Doris is the one getting the crit. 
If he took a double crit there, he actually would have died. He actually would have died. Wow. Okay, where are they going? Are they splitting up? Yeah, they're splitting up. Da 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 na 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 da 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 da. Yeah, well, I'm not getting that item, sadly. Uh oh. Oh! Oh no, Albert. Be careful. Okay, hopefully the Scorch Magus are not gonna do anything to him. I don't think they will. Even though they will Weapon Triangle, which is not great. Uh, I'm a little bit scared right now. Oh my god, I almost lost the Drake character a crit. What the hell? Uh, Albert might be dead, maybe? Hit point strength. Oh, look at Drake Guard Chan leveling like a champ. I think Albert is fine because he has 10 rests and they are unpromoted, so... I wonder where Apollo is gonna go. Where is Apollo gonna go? Wow, that's a perfect split, look at that. He goes to the left, that's fine. He should be fine. Yeah, he takes zero damage here, so... Unless the other one deals like... Okay, actually... Oh, those are sages, actually, not mages. But it's fine. He didn't get sealed from this, I'm pretty sure, because he killed in one round. Chapter 29 is literally a pain, especially when you want to achieve the secret objective. What's the secret objective? Oh, that's the killing all the saboteurs, right? Yeah, that 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 one is not fun. I don't think Donald's going to be able to do that one. Sages are weaker than MMA. Just sages are pretty shit for some reason. I don't I don't really know why. All right, guys, it's time. We gotta go kill the rodent. Uh, Theodore, man, why why can't you kill anything? I'm gonna try to get a kill here with Haley. There you go. <clears throat> Let's go. Donald has already failed the secret objective. Has he now? Oh, but he's still trying to get chapter 32, right? I'm fairly certain he's still trying to get chapter 32. Question about Ash's portrait. Are those scales because of her pure dragon blood or burns? I think they're burns. I, I don't actually know, but I think they're burns. Yes, I am using a short lance on Theodore. Why? Because I need to get it up to S rank before um, before chapter 27. And Theodore's only at C rank, so he actually has some work to do in this regard. They're probably burns, because uh, Ash likes to shove her face in the fire. The Great Lords donated 20... Uh, to Super Chat. Nice car game. Here's a reward. One hard, one lunatic. Run as Rescue Alanda. Chapter sucks, but cool boss. Fuck that tomb. Desert King has too much nomads. Uh, reinforcements with longbows. Chapter 49. How many units can we put in them? <laughs> oh, you guys. It'll be fine. I assumed Ash burned herself in some kind of fury on ritual. Yeah, probably. Manx healed the dragoon. I'll be fine. She has an elixir on her. It's not that many units coming towards me at this point. In fact, I think we can probably start heading towards... Uh, maybe we can start heading towards uh, Adrian. I don't know which way I should go with these guys, actually. Are you winning, Egg? Well, haven't died yet. I was able to get Theo A rank lances on the Cavalier layers in Chapter 7. Yeah, you can certainly do that. If you get the training lance, you can get him to S rank incredibly quickly. Oh shit, I didn't see these guys. What the hell? Uh, what does this guy have? A flame lance? Yeah, so let's enemy face these guys a little bit, shall we? Let's uh, pop our. Well, pop, pop our final holy water. Why not? make some use of that thing. And then we can use Helga. Okay, I think Caroline has a Fimble Better. So I'm gonna break that against this dragon guy. Oh, I she finished herself with a crit. That is nice. That is nice. Anyone defending the throne? Uh, no one's going for the throne at the moment. We should be fine here. That guy's a dragon. Yeah, he does, but it's not a big deal, guys. 
Uh, do we have any, like, more Elwins or something here? Oh, we have Wind. I guess that works. Yeah, even Wind Tomes are pretty good on Halga. Alright, we got two Dragoons coming in here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill Ilroden and make Adrian charge me. I think that's probably for the best. Uh, but we have two Dragoons here. Flame Lance. I think we'll let, again, once again, we will let Halfton and Bjarki deal with these guys. Chapter 29 can be a nightmare with the rogue gimmick and the enemy units. I still have nightmares thinking about the chapter. Ah. There's nothing wrong with the chapter, you guys. Okay, so what... I think I'll give the short axe to... Okay, who has the best hit out of these two? Short axe, hand axe. I let Bjarki use the hand axe together with Hofton, and... Uh, oh, I can even use a longbow, and then I can trade it away. Let's go. Why not? Oh, actually, that gives them extra damage, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. Ugh. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Anyone have healing? Uh, I guess we'll have to heal up Albert next turn. It's fine. Hardest chapter is 14? Ah, depends. It can be, for sure. Jarl Sigri was really helpful. Oh yeah, she was super helpful in my run. Died to a Flame Wisp. Great, fantastic character. Oh wait, is Hofton gonna get doubled here? Nah, okay, he doesn't get doubled. Hofton is actually faster than my Bjarki, I think, which is really good. Yeah, they're all going for Hofton for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but I'm okay with it. Ooh, here we go. Hellfire for 11 damage. This is why barriers are amazing on units with IHP. It's good. And he doubles the sages. Let's go. Halfdan for the win. Alright, we got a kind of nasty squad coming in right here. Halfdan is just a defense and HP wall with nothing else. That's not true. He hits pretty hard. Hardest chapter is one. Alright, we got a gang of people coming in here. This is gonna be nasty. Oh my god, I get so many low percentage crits with the Drake card. This is amazing. I love it. Oh, this is so great. Boy, lots of characters coming towards us right here. My goodness. Da 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 da. Oh, Apollo apparently changed his mind. The rogue is coming back for me? What an absolute moron. Why is he doing that? Wow. The rogue was like, actually, I changed my mind. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. Alright. I think I have a, yeah, I have a dragon spare on Jaka. That should be plenty to get rid of this guy. The rogue is very nice. He's like, hey, let me, uh... <laughs> Let me give you the treasure I collected. Why can't you be thankful? I am thankful. It's just that when I'm thankful, I make fun of people. You know, like with you guys. Okay, let's see. We can use an Elfire to... Okay, I need to check Illurudin's range down. There we go. Maybe I should just pull him this turn. With... Yeah, actually, I think I will do that. Oh, boy. Uh, that won't work. Um, let's see. If Theodore comes in here... La 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 I think we'll let Aisha come in here with the Dragon Axe. Chapter 1 is hard. Mangs lost it once. I did. I did. It was awful. I didn't expect the Drake card to go off this hard. Well, if you can kind of... It, it's all about surviving the first three turns or so, and then, then you're really set. Then you are really sad. Once you can do that, you're fine. Jiggle physics spotted. Everyone comments on this every single time. Chapter 24 is so easy and general feel makes me so happy. It's it's fascinating to me how differently people react to Tomb of Horrors. Some people just love it, other people hate it. 
think it's just a personality thing, really. Or maybe it depends on the group they take down there. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, I'm gonna put Caroline down here now. Uh, actually, no, I want her to be in range of Jaka, but she's not. Uh, hmm. Maybe I can just rescue him up there. If I pop a rescue staff on Jaka... Oh, very nice. That's a crit. Okay, what if I go up here and then I use a rescue staff? That's my last usable rescue staff, but it's fine. There we go. No! Uh, that was not what I wanted to do. Uh... That was actually not what I wanted to do, but okay. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Um, it's a fine. I'll just put Caroline right here. Yeah, it's fine. Actually, I kind of want the throw, not gonna lie. So I think we'll do short spare, hellfire, holy water? Why not? You didn't fix Lynette's speed cap? What? Oh, what? Didn't we? PH must have changed it back. I thought we fixed that. PH, did you did you change Lynette's speed cap, PH? Because I think it was supposed to be higher than 26, right? You fixed only that one for the regular Valkyries. Oh! <laughs> I changed the caps with the wrong Valkyrie class. So only enemies have higher speed now, not Lilinette. Oh, well that's a shame. Well that's a shame, oopsie doopsie. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> oopsie schwoopsie. Okay, it's okay, guys. Final, final, final round. Speed. <laughs> you were told me you were changing the caps of the Valkyrie, which you did. Well, it was supposed to be Lilinette, but uh, okay. All right. Well, thank you, Rogue. I appreciate it. Damn. That's uh, really cool of you to just give me a rescue staff like that. I, I appreciate that. Oh no, never mind, it's a fire- Oh, It's a fiery chant. Well, that's disappointing. Alright, well, I think we'll definitely go back here a little bit. Uh, let's see. This guy has a- yeah, I'm not- I'm not fucking with that guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm not- I'm not fucking with that guy. I am just not in the mood. Wait, 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 this guy doesn't have a Worm Slayer? Okay, no, never mind, he definitely has a Worm Slayer. Let's just regroup the Drake card over here. Will we get the least fi five final version of this run? <laughs> you claim to be a Fire Emblem fan. Name the fourth Fire Emblem release for the 3DS. Uh, fourth Fire Emblem? Do, is there a fourth? Um, first one was Awakening. The second one was Fates. The third one was Echoes. There isn't a fourth one. Warriors? Warriors? You dare stand in my way? I will burn you to cinders. Oh. Well, Warriors isn't a real Fire Emblem game. I'm sorry to say it, guys. But it's not. Oh, let's go. He's already dead. What? No, this cannot be. The crown was to be mine. Damn you, Tendaris. Shadow Dragon? Shadow Dragon was for the DS, not the 3DS. You absolute mongrel. Also, Fates, I don't care what you say. Uh, Fates is one game, it's not three games. Like, I don't care, you're wrong. Oh boy, it's a lot of Duke Knights incoming, and they're pretty scary. Um, hmm. Did he say the DS? I thought he said 3DS. His Majesty has been defeated. This does not bode well, but I am a dragon of Timaeus. I will not wait for my opponents. All right, he's charging us now. I don't know if his squad charges. I think they do. So this... Oh my god, I could get sandwiched in a big way right now, and not in a good way. Um, 
Yeah, this is actually super scary. I don't have any halberds, I think. Ooh, maybe I should try... I, I think I have hammers on both of them. Yeah, I do. Brave lances and everything. Yeah, this is actually pretty scary. But I think with a... Maybe Leviathan on Halfdan and Hammer on Bjarki, I should be able to, to do it, maybe. Yup, Pincer attacks incoming. I believe in Halfdan and Bjarki supremacy. I think they'll be just fine. These guys, I don't think they charge. No, they stay there, so... Don't go down, charge north. Uh, I, but there might be too many for me to deal with, and Hofton and Bjarki can murder these guys, I'm pretty sure. What happened to the meteor? I used them for the Drake Guard. Rip run? Sweetie, have some faith in me. My goodness. Uh, let's bring out the... I say we bring out the hammers. Or maybe the leviathans. Use a daybreak right here to murder this dragoon right here. Bro, if you barrier or puff them one more time, I'm going to lose my mind. Dude, I'm doing it for experience. Like, literally, I'm doing it for experience. I'm not doing it for fun. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm using a staff every single turn just to get experience, because it is the best way to play this game. You should absolutely get so many staves, like, there's no sense in hoarding them. Uh, okay, well, um, do we just let Aish... Honestly, I think Jock and Caroline can probably murder the squad, but... Let's see if Aisha gets a crit. Ooh! We want to see the Bethany stream? Well, wait, Bethany's gonna stream Elena Saga? I was not aware. Magic and Aisha, let's go! Oh, let's go. What a girl, what a girl! Okay, can we kill the sniper? Uh, not without Ragnarok. But that's okay, we'll use Ragnarok. Bethany would play this run better. Okay, so let me tell you what Bethany did yesterday, okay? No, two days ago. She sat on her laptop on chapter six. You know what she did? She spent 800 turns letting three of her units be attacked non-stop by the sirens while they were being healed up by Alanda's passive skill. And she was sitting like this, speeding up, pressing wait, 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 wait. 800 turns! 800 turns! And then she was like, if you take this away from me, you will not take this away from me. I was like, no, sweetie, you can you can do that, it's fine. There's nothing I can do to stop you. Absolutely not. Some people are just built different, what can I say? Alright, we do need to kill this guy. Let's see, can we use the Dragon Spear against this guy? 19 damage, that should be fine. That's 8 levels worth <laughs> uh, What did you get? 800 experience and 8 levels. What did it cost you? 800 fucking hours. Yup. My goodness, look how strong this unit is. Thanks, I would be worried for your kids. Autism is genetic. <laughs> uh, let's see, can I kill the Sage? Yes, I can. I would like. It would be nice to get a crit, save some Ragnarok uses, but I'm not sure if I will. So Adrian will not charge me. Um, I don't know if leaving Halfton and Bjarki behind was a good idea, but I couldn't. I couldn't risk. I couldn't resist the experience. 
Oh shit. Yeah, not risking that, that's for sure. Not risking that, that's for sure. Does Leonora appear in Chapter 7 on Normal? Yeah, but she appears pretty late. She appears very late. Ah, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Blood Tide, baby, let's go! What a good skill, I should use it more. Man, still moving Tendaris last. Yeah, I really should be moving him. Yeah, I, I, it's just never gonna happen, guys, I'm sorry. Then we can use the flame lands like this. Whoever made the battle theme was cooking. I think it's an arrangement. Yeah, I definitely think it's an arrangement. I don't remember which one, but if you check Treat Star's YouTube channel, then he does list all of the, the original songs there, so it should be fine. Yep, I will... Like, at this point, I definitely think I will keep the Drake part alive, but I'm a little bit worried for the Northern... for the right group, honestly, because... Uh, I don't have that many units there, because I thought I was going to use the Meteor with Ash. Let's go, Hoff Dawn. Start the crit train. Start the crit train. Hoff Dawn's going to get so much experience there, you guys. Defense and resistance. 24 defense on Hoff Dawn right now. That's crazy. Let's go. Oh, this guy has a Devil Axe. And it backfired. <laughs> and it backfired. Let's go! Let's go! Half done gaming! He's killed two guys already, let's go. Yeah, half done is about to become full done, I know, right? Okay, so I'm thinking, uh, Adrian's Flame Lance, that's anima magic, so Daybreak should murder him. If I put him at two range with Dawn. And I think I should be able to absolutely... Okay, crap, he moved badly. That's That sucks. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Alright. Oh, of course they're using Flame Lances. But they're not doing any damage to him, so it's fine. I wish I had two Halberts. That, be, that would have been really nice. <laughs> no damage. <laughs> no damage. Oh god, Adrian is coming for you. I'm ready for him. I'm okay. So they're all just using ranged weapons. Okay. I do have a hunting bow on Bjarke, so it should be fine. Oh wow, the flame wisps are finally contributing. Let's go. Elmer should have gotten his unique battle theme. Okay, fire lances hold the count. Okay, so this is a pretty scary, scary squad. I don't think I'm gonna leave Dawn in range of that. Um, okay, we do have hammers, so I think I'll I'll try a uh, I'll, I'll try a Leviathan. See if I get a crit. There we go. Very nice. What is happening? Why are the enemies so weak? Uh, it's they're physical enemies against my physical walls. That's what's happening. They're physical enemies against my physical walls. Bjarki and Halfdan are like two fucking man mountains. I prefer Sakurai's over Dawn. I actually like Sakurai's better than Dawn too. She's a very fun unit. Okay, so we're definitely gonna retreat a little bit with Dawn here now, but... Um... Let's see, because okay, so we have two guys with flame lances here. One, two, three. So I think I'm gonna keep Dawn here probably with Daybreak. And as for over here, uh, I guess I'll just let this guy. Oh, he has a longbow. Okay, interesting. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Uh, what does he have? He has a silver bow and a longbow. I think I'll just stay on the edge of his range for now. I do have to be careful about the. Uh... I do have to be careful about the throne though. We definitely don't want to lose that. And as for these guys, I think we'll literally just put Jack and Caroline at the front here. Maybe on the stairs. And they should be able to just murder whatever comes this way. Do, 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 do. 
What route is canon? Uh, none of them are canon. Or they're both canon, I guess. Let's barry her up Dawn, even though she has a million rests. She's gonna murder Adrian. Actually, I could have put Dawn on, on the other side of the wall to guarantee two range on Adrian. Ah, that could actually be a thing I could do. Oh my god, yeah, I can just kill Adrian with Dawn. Mangs, do you like your amusement parts? Nah, not really a big thing for me. Anyway, I'm gonna get a Pepsi. BRB. for the throne. They're going for the throne. What? Really? Form up. Surround the ball. Don't let a single one escape. No! <laughs> what? No, not Albert. Aww. Aww. Albert, I like Albert. He's a healer. I need heal. Oh. Well. Wait, I don't have a mini portrait of Albert. That's kind of weird. Uh, let me see. Uh. Hi. Hmm. Yeah. I don't have a portrait. Wait, let me just start. Well then, I guess I'll put him there when I get him. You're going to get soft locked in 27. Not enough units to open the room. Shut up, PH. No, I didn't lose Dawn Caller. It gets sent to Convoy. No, no, no. I, I did not. I did not lose Dawn Caller, you guys. Did did not lose Dawn Caller. So, anyway, I'm gonna send Helga over here. What else is she supposed to do? Also, did I did I miss out on any supports? Huffed on Helga. I don't know if I should do that one. I guess there's no point in not doing it at this point. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do here is. Adrian is here. Uh, I'm gonna put you on the other side of this. Like so. And I'm gonna try and pull. We'll see if this works. There's a chest on the side you for you've forgotten about. Really? Yeah, I guess I can try and get the Volsunga tone. That's probably not a bad idea. Ba ba. forgot to make the event that adds a generic blue unit if you don't feel people. Yeah, you can get softlocked if you have only one person. Yeah, this is true. I mean, I guess at that point you kind of deserve to lose? I'm not sure. Also, they're not going for the thrones per se. Rip Ash? Ash is not gonna die, guys. Have some faith in me. Tomorrow you should open the door out of pity. 
Nagra donated five bucks. So killing Eunice to entertain your girlfriend is the plan. Yeah. Absolutely. Is he oh, he has a dragon, though. But that's fine. Of course, he might still... Fr he might still just, uh... One thing I didn't think about is that he might just crit my, my Swordmaster. But, oh well. Nothing can be done about that now. Well, this fucking sucks. Stupid Apollo. Faith like Albert had, yup. Skill defense on Halfdown, that's nice, I guess. What is what is his skill again? Oh, he has darting blow, what the hell? Oh, he's pretty fast, isn't he? Mang had so much faith in Albert, he didn't even make a death portrait for him. Alright, hopefully Ash is gonna be okay. Oh, oh boy, the Swordmasters are coming here. Oh wow, she double Swordmasters. Good girl. Uh, 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 uh. So that, that guy really sucks. Losing Albert, not a big fan of that. Um, kind of sad. He's a healer I desperately need right now. I guess I'll, I'll get Varg in the next chapter, which is nice. Okay, Caroline continues to level up like an absolute god, so that's great. Ooh, Halberd, let's go. Not that it's gonna hit me. Use yourself as a villain proper. <laughs> Albert was such a needless death too. I agree. But hey, that's just most deaths, you know. Most deaths are needless. Wow, if Dawn dies to freaking archers, I'm gonna stop playing Fire Emblem. I'm gonna delete my channel. At that point. Okay, thank god. Looks like you're gonna have to delete your channel famous last words. Oh no. Oh no. Most deaths are needless. Jesse, you died for one experience. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's that's Adrian. Okay, don't qu I swear to god. Oh. That would have been such a shitty way to lose the drag card too. My goodness. That would have been such a shitty way to lose the drag cards. I suggest you make a video around about why you suck at fire emblem. That's your final nail in the coffin. Yeah. Maybe I should just delete every single video on my channel and just leave that one up as, as the, the only video available. You still haven't made your bad at Fire Emblem video. Yeah, you're right about that. I don't know if I ever will. Albert died while I was in the shower. <laughs> uh. Three more deaths until the death counter updates. Oh, look, Albert's in. Nice. He popped up. I still want the arena recaps. Dude, you know you know what, what the arenas were like, didn't you? Mengs, what shampoo do you use? I just, I use whatever's in the shower. One time I, 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 uh, I used uh, Bethany's uh, shampoo without telling her. What? <laughs> it was really nice. Girl, girl products are really, they smell really well. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's this pink looking bottle here. It's probably Bethany. So when I, <laughs> I scrubbed in my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't show shit at me. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> Nani? Alright, so the question is, can I kill Adrian right now? 
Let's see what Daybreak does to this guy. I do have Bjarki in range, but... Let's see, Daybreak... Yeah, he's pretty scary, not gonna lie. Probably will need to pull him in one more time. I think we need to let him... Forgive me, my king, I could not hold... Oh, almost a full level for Optum, let's go. And we got some Eternal Seal, that's very nice. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna move Dawn down here. Yeah, I'm gonna move Dawn down here with the Daybreak. I should probably have earned the Daybreak, honestly. Woman Shampoo smells flower, strawberry, mint. Men Shampoo smells dark, fire, truck, demolition, yeah. It's 14 in one. Shampoo, body wash, toilet cleaner, oil, oil, oil remover. <laughs> Stuff like that is great. All right, well, chicken tendies. Uh, let's uh, get you a mana cute kill, shall we? Dawn might be useful here. Oh, you're right, Daunt. As in the Daunt skill. Oh, yeah, because Adrian's got a lot of... Oh, ho, ho. nice. I got two de two defense points on Tandaris and three HP. That's pretty nice. Yeah, wait. Um, I guess I didn't... Yeah, I should have moved... Yeah, you're absolutely right. I should have moved Halfton in. Bonk. Yeah, he can level up three HP. He has a 200... He has, like, 200 and what? Uh, 240% HP growth. He can get, he can get 3 HP, but, oh, wow. Oh, uh, that's not a kill. Uh, uh, crit, maybe? Uh, uh, help. Oh, thank goodness. It's a 100% hit, thank goodness. Drake card Chan, we are all right. Whew, that was scary. I worked very hard to get these guys. All right, well, Lilinette needs to get her Dire Thunder. My goodness, she's been stuck at C rank for what feels like an eternity right now. I gotta get her that B rank. Fake tension? That was a little bit real. I mean, it felt real to me. Alright, I don't think there's any point in doing anything here. Uh, these guys are not going to reach in time. There is a chest here, though, that I should probably get. If I Do I even have a chest key at this point? Uh, I do, actually. Well, I might as well go get it. Alright, here we go. Here we go. For the future of Timate, in the name of King Elrod, I sentence you to death. That's a creaking crit. Ooh. Oh, Trishula is not an animatome. What the hell? Oh, it's not considered an animatome, even though it's a magic spare. All right. Yeah, Trishula is a magic lance, but it is not it is not considered. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Meng's quoting revelations to the letter. Yeah, you're right about that. Flame sword, lovely. And uh, okay, so uh, can we get a kill with Hofton here? With the Dragon X? Oof. Woo! That is some spicy stuff. Um. Oh my God! <laughs> what? All right, let's try with Bjarki here. What? What about Bjarki support though? Se okay, that's pretty good. 73% chance to hit. That's pretty good. Oh, I really want... I really want Hofton to get this. I really want... Okay, what's the most accurate axe I have? That would be the hammer. And I think the hammer is actually effective. Yeah, look at that. This is fine. Boom! Oh! The ch no, never mind. I got the chest. I have been defeated. I yield. Please accept my surrender. I got the chest, didn't I? La -la 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 -la. Skill and rest. Let's go! 
and the Draco Shield. Gonna give this stone to Natalie, I think, next chapter. It's been a while, Tindoris. Never thought I'd be so glad to see someone from Andalon. Shahira, well done bringing them here. I'm grateful. No thanks necessary, I only did my duty. I'm glad to see you alive, though, my king. Looks like we arrived in the nick of time. Indeed, my brother must have spent years planning this coup. I thought I was dead for sure. Speaking of the devil... My king, we have captured General Adrian. He's still alive, as is your brother. What would you have us do with them? Bring them both here. Let's have a chat. As you command. This should be interesting. How dare you parade me before the throne like some court jester. Come now, brother. After this tedious war, we could all use the entertainment. Go ahead, half-brother. Gloat at me. Savor this brave taste of victory. Soon, all of Timaid will know you won because of war and sell swords. Will your people support you then? I think you not. They will overthrow you. We shall see. You won't be around to find out, though. Ha! <laughs> what are you going to do? Kill me? You don't have the stomach for it. You never had the will to do what was necessary to rule over our nation. You're a filthy half-blood. Son of a concubine. A bastard born of lust. Where your, when your own people are revolting against your rule, what will you do? When they ask you who bought, brought foreign invaders into our ha halls, what will your answer be? There's my answer. I made my bed, now I'll sleep in it. Any last words? I see only a future of chaos under your rule, but I will not lie. You were a shrewder drake than an I wish you ruled the best of luck. I grant you the mercy of dying on your feet. You might be a traitor, but you were once a great drake. It is better than I deserve. Now that the formalities are done with, we have work to do. Aw oh, damn, scalers don't mess around. Oh, who is this exotic beauty? I don't remember her face. This is Helga of Clan Scotty from Hornheim. When we last met, she was not with us. Cannot say I've never met a northern girl. I would enjoy getting to know you better. You might not enjoy it as much as you think. Oh, a roast with thorns. How delightful. Jaka, any chance we can bring back Hilroden? I'm starting to think we backed the wrong scaly. Alright, that's enough. You two can kiss later. Ah, yes. How forgetful of me. I do offer my condolences. What happened to your friend was a great tragedy. I only met Baudemon once, but he seemed like a good man. He was, though unlike you, he let his brother get the better of him. His only flaw was that he was far too trusting of backstabbers. Yes, I've heard all about King Mortimer and how he reluctantly claimed his throne. The official story is that the, f he had the first and second princes killed each other in battle. I was there. I can confirm that's not what happened. Mortimer pr played them both up against each other. Then he came in to pick up the scraps like a vulture. Mortimer's schemes ranged far and wide. He even had a hand in Hilroden's coup. His brother was... My brother was no fool, but he was not, not a coward. He would not do this alone. Uh, not without certain assurances. Well then, you know what comes next. Trahera promised us your support. March alongside with us... To, uh, march with us alongside the Vikings. And let us bring Mortimer to justice. To me, it's in no position to offer military aid. You must give us at least time to rest and recover. Stay within the royal palace and recuperate, and I will spend time with my advisors. When the time comes... Before war comes, teammate will not forget the debt that owes. This I promise. Alright, you better stay true to your word. I always pay my debts. Just ask my brother. I can't. He's dead. Precisely. My most honored Drake God, I'm glad to see you all alive. We only survived because you fought so fiercely beside us. Truly, we are humbled by our king's prowess in battle. As you have heard, a day might come when we will declare war upon Andoron. When that day comes, I want you to there on the battlefield beside me. Wherever you go, we will go as well. We are You are our king. We live to serve. Good, now get some rest. Your king commands it. As you wish. There we go! Congratulations! You managed to keep the Drake Guard alive. Whenever you deploy Tandaris, you can call his Royal Guard. They will appear as allied units and follow him around the map. The units and their equipment will vary based on the chapter. Alright! Ladies and gentlemen! I think it's time for meme review, don't you? Let's do meme review. You guys have been very patient. It's time for meme review. Let's see, how many memes do we have today? Quite a lot of memes. We have 17 memes, or 17 males. Could be a lot more than 17 memes. Meme time. 
Why isn't it possible? It's just not. Why not? You stupid horse! Poor Garum. Poor Garum. <laughs> oh no, sweetie, it's the picture you took of, took of me in the... It's the picture you took of me in Florida. <laughs> Oh, that's I. It's a very flattering picture of me for sure. Very, very flattering. Yeah, I got a mustache in this picture. This is where I'd put my trophy for using my meteor tome at Adrian, if I had one. <laughs> Magical flames kill Sigrid and Jahara. I think this was submitted last stream. <laughs> if Dawn dies from archers, I will delete my channel. Uh, zero days without while enough the coyotes, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the violent memes are back, I see. I know how to make child units. It's easier than I thought. <laughs> oh no, violent. Violent. <laughs> Is this violent of the coyotes, man? <laughs> Say the line, violent. I am violent of the coyotes, man. Hey, Hanako. Has a two minute video over there. See? No one cares! <laughs> How do you identify an expert? Oh, it's Fred from Scooby Doo. Look at that. Hanako, I'm not watching your video. Stop sending it to me. Alright, let's see. Let's get some more Maymays. Fred Flintstone. <laughs> that is his... Wait, why is Dawn in his harem? I don't think... I don't... Dawn and Jaka can't fuck. Oh, I guess... I guess we have to add that now. I could I could check this one. This is a short video. Yeah, where's Aisha? Yeah, I should have put Aisha. Common meteor strike. Let's go. It's the same meme again. When <laughs> you take the deal in on the on saga, that's actually pretty good. Uh, Mangs, the Ross family tree makes no sense. Theo cannot simultaneously be Sam's nephew and Lily's uncle if Lily is Sam's granddaughter. Uh, yes? Yeah? What's what's wrong with this? Yeah, Theo is Gideon's brother. Or like not brothers. Okay, so Yeah, like well, huh? What are you talking about? This is perfectly rational. Yeah? Like like do you not know how families work? Like I don't see anything wrong with this. At all. Like, am I- is there something I'm not seeing here? I think you just owned yourself with this meme. Yeah, G Gideon is Theodore's cousin, yeah. Mm. 
Oh, wait, do they actually say- wait, but bu 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 Theo Lily C support? Uh, so wait. Gid d does she actually say that Gideon is Theodore's brother in her C support? If that- in that case, it, that is just me messing up and saying brother instead of- instead of, um... That's just- that's just me messing up and saying brother instead of cousin. That, that's more like a typo from me than anything else, really. Let's see. <laughs> oh, this meme. Oh, I love this one. That's a great one. <laughs> I think I showed this before. Oh, this one was set. We, this one was from Orlando. We went to the, uh, we had a pool next to our hotel, me, Cyan, Davis, and Bethany. And then Cyan was like, man, you gotta go sit there under the waterfall, I gotta take a picture of you. I think you have that meme in mind. It's, uh, the Norwegian latrine incident, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's not bring that up again. Let's not bring that up again. <laughs> yes, I found drugs. <laughs> Congrats on your new citizenship. You're now all part of the Mortimer land, and you will be able to witness witness project Mortimer land live in RGBA true color. If I had a nickel for every time I played a Nintendo fan game made by an egg with the villain... Oh, I've seen this one before. Like, this is not... Yeah, these are old memes. Why are you submitting old... Lord West or Lord Easter? Yeah, you're, you're submitting old memes. I'm actually just play the Pokemon game with Bethany helping to guide him. Well, that indicates that Bethany actually knows how to play Pokemon, though. I don't know if she can. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Making Bjorki the Jarl since he's hard to kill. Making Bjorki the Jarl since women shouldn't be in charge. Alright. That's good. We got the May Mace. All right. Jockeye and his men rest for a month at Castle Drake's Spire. Tindar has spent much of his time consulting his advisors. One day a visitor arrives. Who's to say Bjorki isn't the woman? Who knows? I grow restless waiting all day. How much more time do you need? Every day that goes by, we give Mortimer time to rebuild his army. Be patient. I promise you, promise you Tim, at supports, and I always keep my word. However, there is much work to be done. We have just been through a civil war. Convincing the nobles to enter another war will require some persuasion. You're the king. Can't you just command them to move? I certainly could, but when I return home, do you think I will meet a cheering crowd? Or is it more likely I will face open revolt? I can't just ignore the will of my people. If I do that, my reign will be as short and brutal as that of King Randall the Moronic. Bah, I thought you scaleless didn't care for politics. My friend Brandon told me all you like to do is fight. Your friend is not entirely wrong. We Timatians do like our violence. However, I'm afraid you can never escape the struggle of politics. Whenever the Vikings disagree, they simply beat each other senseless in the arena. Perhaps my first order as king would be to adopt this custom. My king, an envoy from Styxia just arrived. Styxia? I was not informed of this. No one was informed, your highness. They showed up and announced. You have dealings with the necromancers? Not that I know of. We share a border, but our interactions are very limited. They insist on speaking directly with you. What should I tell them, your highness? Send them in. As you command, my king. Ah, yes. Everyone's favorite skeleton. Greetings, weak and foolish fleshbags. You now stand before I, Lord Meda. What? Servant of the Secret Shadow, Grave Walker Extraordinaire. It is I, Meta the Beautiful. He who knows no mortal limit. Hmm. That was awkward. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Sometimes he comes out and things get weird for a bit. Anyway, I'm Ahmed the Friendly Skeletons, servant of Darius. His voice changed. Fellas, don't just interrupt someone with their talking, it's rude. And yes, my voice does change on the change on occasion, but paid no mind. If you were living your second life, you'd have a few screws loose too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you were a servant of Darius. Do you mean Prince Darius of Styxia? Yes, sir, the one and only. We're pleased to finally meet you. We've been following your little war effort for quite some time. 
I did not realize Tixia took an interest in our internal matter. What are you, stupid? Of course we'd keep an eye on the dragons. You can't take a dump without our intelligence agents reporting it. The last thing we want is a bunch of deranged scalies coming down. <laughs> that is to say, it would be prudent to keep our eyes open. Now that you are king, we wish to offer support to your lordship. And yet you didn't come to my aid when Il Roden was beaten down my doors. I'm sure you'd utter the same flowery words to my brother if you were here. Yes, obviously, imbecile fleshling, do you think we run a church here? Charity is for those who deserve it, not a bunch of half-witted moron- Hey, hey, don't mind old Mena. He just says stuff sometimes. The skeleton is quite the handful. Alright, so what does Prince Darius want to talk about? I'll leave it to him, but he wants to yap something secret. It'll have a big benefit, not only to you, but the landslord too. Me as well. Call me interested. So what it'll be? Can you keep your mouth shut to hear him out? Alright, I'll give him my word that this meeting is off the books. Where does he wish to meet us? Where else but here, you stupid idiot blunderhead? You think he sent me here all by myself, moron? Uh, yeah, my prince is already here. <laughs> King Tandaris, well fought, well fought. That was quite the exciting civil war. My father and I watched the ordeal with such great anticipation. Prince Darius, I've not seen you since Mortimer's coronation ceremony. I'm glad you are alive and that our war could provide you some entertainment. I am but afraid uh, I am woefully underprepared for such a royal visit, however. I do not even have servants ready to offer you food and refreshment. You must feel so out of your element. Oh, it's fine. Your castle appears to be in quite the ragged state. I would hate to be a hindrance to your reconstruction efforts. I assure you, we won't slow down our artisans one bit. And I'm glad to hear it. May your reign be long. Yours as well. Now what brings the Prince of Styxia to my royal palace? I've actually come to speak with the Lord of Lances. Me? Really? That's right. You're the mercenary who served under Prince Baudimon. I come bearing news that I think you will find quite amusing. What news could the Prince of Styxia possibly have that would interest me? I heard you and Baudemon were quite close, almost as brothers. I do not imagine you hold much love for the new King of Andron. That's an understatement. You'll be interested to learn that King Mortimer has made a deal with my father. He is shipping political prisoners down to Styxia to be raised as undead slaves. What? That vile bastard! Five slave caravans have already entered, a sixth is on his way. Why would you tell us this? My father and I disagree on how best to run our glorious nation. He wishes to close it down, while I want to open it up to the world. When I ascend the throne, I plan to end the Styxian slave trade. Shipping prisoners from other nations is poor practice. One cannot ex achieve greatness with a populace in chains. So you value freedom, though, do you? A champion of the downtrodden? Is that why you have a skeleton servant following you around? Slavery is so wrong, but eternal servitude and death, that's fine. If you're referring to my retainer Ahmed, it was his choice to serve me in death. I would never raise an unwilling soul into servitude. He insisted I do it for him. Though the process did sadly split his personality apart somewhat. Oh, you're just standing there? Okay, okay. She, she, look, she looked so questioningly at me. What should we trust you? What do you gain from this? I do not wish to see your people serving my father in chains. However, I cannot publicly defy my father. That would be treason. So instead you tell us to go up against your father and, and your place? That's a different kind of treason. I am not telling you to do anything. I am merely a humble messenger. How you choose to act on this information is up to you. Ah, this sounds like another one of trap devised by Mortimer himself. I'm not falling for it. I bet your plan is to lure us into an ambush. If you decide to travel to the border to see the truth for yourself, then I offer to go there with you. I will be completely at your mercy. I would be a fool to try and ambush you under such circumstances. You risk much coming here. Not only your life, but the wrath of your father, too. Everything in life requires some risk. I do not shun away from it. Anyway, I shall give you privacy to talk. Come see me when you reach a decision. I will eagerly await your response. So, Mortimer has an alliance with the King of Styxia. Do you believe it? Nothing is beneath that treacherous rat, though I trust this Darius even less. You would be wise not to. The Styxians are schemers. Darius is quite different from his father, though, I will say. How so? He's a lot more talkative for once. His father is a man of few words. Much more fond of making threats than compromises. The King of Styxia as a monster or released a plague on Andoron. He wiped up half of our population. My old man perished due to it. I seem to recall that your people will lay siege to their capital. Yeah, but I would often say the same thing. They acted in self-defense, Jaka, but I don't care, it was a wild act. Bloody necros and their black magic. Desperate times call for desperate measures, though I do agree it was reprehensible. Will you travel down to the border, then? See if these slave caravans really exist? I don't know. If what Darius says is true, then I can't just sit by and do nothing. 
What will you do if you were me? I would go and speak with your men, and perhaps also to Darius himself. Maybe you will learn something new. Sounds like a plan. Alright. Sadly, we do not have uh, Angelus. So we don't get the choice to send him away or, or not. Ah, poor Ilanda. Manx, can we check up on Ilanda? Ah, she, she's fine. <laughs> Remind me, I have no units left. <laughs> I have absolutely no units left. Mortimer was right. Alright. Yes? Alright. Let's uh, continue. I'll go with you to the border. Show me these slave caravans. This has better not be a trick. Kiss Ash? Oh, you want me to kiss Ash? Okay, fine. I can kiss Ash. Alright. Fine. This one's... Uh... You want, you want, I, I usually don't do the guide and talks, they're optional. Uh, but sure, we can, we can go and kiss Ash, that's fine. Hmm? She appears to be praying. I should leave her be. Jekka! Uh, hello, I didn't mean to just... Let me see your hands. My hands? Hey, what are you... Hmm, very interesting. Can you let go? Just a moment. I don't think we know each other well enough for this. I want to give you a kiss. Okay, now things are just getting inappropriate. You're not really my... Ah, what in the bloody hell was that for? You burned my hands, you crazy priestess! You've been kissed by fire. This is how I show my love. I do not want your love. But you are Pyrion's favored. I have to show my gratitude. You're the Lord of Fire Lances. If your gratitude involves burning parts of my body, then I want none of it. I can give you a regular kiss too if you want. No, thank you. I don't even know, want to know what that entails. He's acting all tough now, but in a few more weeks, I'll have him converted. No man can resist my burning charm. <sighs> least, least insane Almodon Saga character right here. Let them support. Yeah, let's add another girl to Jaka's harem, shall we? I'll go with you to the border. Show me these slave caravans. This had better not be a trick. No tricks, I assure you. Only the naked truth. I promise you it will be an enlightening journey. I don't doubt it. Just erase the Jacka Caroline support. Oof! I made my decision, Tandaris. I'm going with the prince. I want to see for myself if these slave caravans truly exist. Good idea. I'll come with you. Don't you have your hands full with rebuilding your country? My diplomats and ambassadors have already been sent out. My soldiers have been given their tasks. For now, it's a waiting game. I'd much rather go with you. Sounds like we'll have fun. You think it's a good idea for you to leave the country? Especially right after you just conquered it in the bloody war? This might be one of the few chances I will get to leave. I'll spend the better part of my life in this throne. I would like to have some adventures while I still can. When you put it like that, long lives do sound annoying. Very well, it's not my place to defy a king. Quiet you. I said nothing. Is everyone ready to leave, then? We have a long journey ahead, though I look forward to getting to know you all on the road. Same here, especially you, Helga. I want to know all your dark secrets. Jaka, do you think dragons can survive being frozen solid? I've always wondered. We should be able to reach the border in under a week if there are no delays. Come, I shall show you the best route. Onwards, my friends, to Styxia! Alright. Cursed chest under two bucks. How far up do you go when washing your face? <laughs> How far up do you go when... I, like, wash the whole head. Like, that's a very specific question. I feel like that's something you've been wondering about for a while. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, Gore McDonald of five bucks. At this point, after so many dead units, Draco should get a skill called Tombstone that gives one accuracy dodge and crit for each dead unit you have. That would be hilarious. All right, chapter 23, Styxian Sands. This is where we get Natalie, Varg, and... Natalie, Varg, and then Sari at the end, which is nice. The southern des desert nation of Styxia, a land steeped in magic and mystery. Here, the foul necromancers are free to practice their unholy dark magic. Jaka never thought he would willingly travel to this accursed wasteland, but now he marches side by side with the crown prince of Styxia's empire. As for Daria's motivations, Jaka can only hope he isn't lying. Oh, should I not kill the dancers? Oh boy. There it is, the River Saphir. If you follow it, you'll soon reach the capital city, Quadim. Divines, it's hot here. You Styxians must sweat like pigs to stay cool. Hmm, it doesn't feel all that warm to me. Today's quite cool, even. Right, right, so where are those caravans? We should be close, yes? Look to the west. I, 
killed all the dancers. I'm gonna try to keep them alive. Boots would be nice. There they are. The caravan members appear to be resting. Their leader is a cruel fe fellow who goes by the name of Sethos. He's fully loyal to my father. I need to keep my distance. If he recognizes me and flees, he'll alert my father for sure. You intend to hang back? Why? So you can backstab us? I don't know where your distrust of me comes from, Lord of Lances. I do not want to harm you. In fact, I'd like to cultivate an alliance. Please let your mind be at ease. Everyone wants an alliance if it benefits them. Are you any different? Point taken. For now, let's focus on these caravans. If you need me, I'll be hiding in your camp. I'll summon my cohort to help guard it. I can use scrying magic to scout the area. If I see anything, Ahmed will warn you. Alright, everyone, move out. We have prisoners to rescue. Our mounted units will have a hard time moving in the sand. Everyone else has to work extra hard to compensate. Let's go. Time is of the essence here. We have to be quick as lightning. The longer we tarry, the higher the risk our own people suffer. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen. I think at this point, you don't actually need... I actually don't think you need... Um, your dragon weapons anymore. Actually, no, there are a couple of zombie dragons in this arc, so I guess you do still need them. Yeah, this prep team is pretty good. Oh, actually, uh, Tendaris can support with Helga. Connie, yeah, he can. Helga actually has a lot of good supports. I, I think maybe we, but... Yeah, this this preparations team is pretty good. So we're we're down three units, not the best. We need to we need to think about who goes where. I think Caroline and Jaka goes to the left because we need them to recruit Varg. Uh, Helga can kind of do her own thing. Bjarki and I'll send Bjarki and Hoft on this way as well. Uh, and then maybe we'll send Ash down here. Maybe we'll send Tendaris down to clear out this camp. I think that's probably a good idea. We could do Tendar. Tendar is actually pretty good support. Maybe I should do the, the two of them. We can send Dawn as well. Oh, my Haley has no one to support with anymore. That's actually kind of sad. Everyone she can support with is dead. Everyone she can. We have an Eternal Seal to give away. I'm thinking either Jaka or... I know I should just need it. Uh, maybe half done. Theodore, maybe? Helga? Could just give one to Tendaris prematurely, I guess. I'm thinking probably... Ah, Tendaris doesn't need it yet. But I think uh, Helga might benefit from it. Bless you, sweetie. Yeah, I think I'll give the uh, I'll, I'll give the Eternal Seal to, to Helga. There we go. She's now level 10. That's good. I, there's another one that Jaka can pick up eventually. There we go. Let's get some short spares on Jaka. All space is nice. And uh, maybe some Brave Swords. Killing Edge. That's good. Silver sword, long bow, short bow. I think there are, yeah, there are definitely skeletons out here which we need to take into account. Um, Jaka's gonna recruit Natalie on turn two. That's an important one. I swear to God, little Nat, at some point she's gonna get her dire thunder, guys. At some point she's gonna get her dire thunder. Remember to give solar blast. Yeah, she's gonna use the solar blast as well. Don't worry about it. He's definitely gonna do that. Uh, L fire for Caroline. Oh, holy fire is gonna be great here for Caroline, actually. Great. What are you gonna use your Hamerns on? I actually haven't quite decided. I have not decided. I feel like the Dicer, I probably should use it for the Dicer, right? You know what I don't have? I don't have Halberds at all. Draco Shields on Natalie. I'm gonna I'm gonna Draco Shield Natalie. It's definitely the best the best thing to do here, I think, for sure. Da -da -da. Oh, Bjork can use silver bows now. Base, let's go, and long bows. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. I'm also thinking about Hamerning the Leviathan. I feel like it's just a smart thing to do. 
Don't forget to visit the armory of this chapter. Yeah, probably a good idea. Theodore still has his Dire Thunder. That's good. Uh, dire Thunder. Holy Fire to Theodore for sure. We gotta work on his Lance Rank, so I'm actually gonna give him a short Lance. I know it's a bit silly, but... I'm actually going to give him a short Lance. And I guess Dawn can get her sword back now. It's not like she'll need anything else at this point. Yep, it's not like she needs anything else at this point. I can sell the Nightbringer, it's not... I am sad that Albert died. He would have been so useful against the Steel Knights, my goodness. That's actually really, really sad. Hammer the Daybreak? I might. Yeah, I might. Haven't quite decided, but I might. She can be an Elixir Dispenser, that's fine. And Helga, we want uh, Dark Spice for the Nomads for sure. Nosferatu, and we also want... Uh, are there any flyers on this map? I don't think there are. We'll use a... Uh... <laughs> Pepsi Dispenser. No, that's Bethany. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have two holy symbols now. That's pretty cool, actually. Maybe we'll put it on Tandaris. His luck is not fantastic. Theodore should also get one, I think. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, solar brace on uh, solar brace on Natalie. That's you. And Ash will get a. I feel like a holy fire would be good for Ash as well. Caroline can get an elixir, that's good. Or I guess there's a concoction here. Holy Fire on Ash, and then we could also give her an aura. I always like the aura. Recover, Physic, and Barrier. Actually, you know what? I feel like Ash can... We'll give her a Hammer, and we'll, we need to use the Hammer and Staffs at some point. Alright. So, for this chapter, we gotta kill the tents before turn 13. We gotta try and get Sari, she's really good. Sethos will show up later. Uh, killing the Woodworks is nice. We gotta get Varg, we gotta get Natalie. We gotta visit the villages, and we gotta get the Desert Treasure. Who's dealing with Nomad Gang on the right side? The Drake Guard. Alright, you maggots, pick up the pace. Get to these tents, get these tents up before sundown. Don't make me crap my whip. Sir Sethos, we have a complication. By the sands, what is it this time? Are the slaves complaining again? Lady Saris about to perform, and you better not make him miss it. I'm sorry to disturb you during your time of rest, but we spotted some men on the other side of the river. Probably just some Tomation border, border patrol, what of it? They don't look like Tomations to me. Could be trouble, should we prepare? Ah, fine, double the patrols, make a show of our strength. If these foreigners cross the river, rip them to shreds. Right away, Chief, enjoy the show. Don't you worry, I will. Drake cards will kill dancers? Nah, they won't, it's fine. What's going on, love? Are we under attack? Nothing you need worry your sweet little behind over. You just keep on entertaining my boys with your dancing. We've been marching through the desert for weeks. Everyone wants a distraction. Yes, yes, my girl and I are happy to shake their goods for you. But our contract specifies that we are not to engage in combat. You'd better make sure we're safe and protected, sir, Sethos. I'd, ha I'd hate to apply the rescue fee and double King Kongok's burden. <laughs> the king has plenty of gold to throw around. It's only a matter of some spare change. Sethos, I do not enjoy your jokes. We're only here for entertainment. I wouldn't mind seeing your dance for the boys out there. It might motivate them to fight harder than they usually do. Surely we can renegotiate that pesky contract. The Styxian Creed does state that all deals can be altered for a price. However, I fear that you may find my terms to be exorbitant. It's not me paying the bills, sweetheart. Very well, we may be able to come to an arrangement. You stay there and watch the camp. I'm riding out to fetch more men. Whoever these strangers are, I have a feeling they're up to no good. I started making trouble in my neighborhood. Do be careful, Sethos there. Good luck on your journey to Bel Air. If the foreigners have any decency, they'll leave my dancers alone. But if not, at least we'll earn two times our standard race. Come on, girls, get out there and motivate these boys to fight hard. Our lives depend on their results. Alright. Destroy the campsites to free the captured prisoners. Once freed, you must escort them to the back lines. To the back rooms. 
You must destroy all the camps before the time limit runs out. The more prisoners you save, the greater your reward will be. You will fail the mission if you let the enemy destroy your own camp. You will also lose if every last one of the prisoners are killed. That's a game over condition that we do have to be careful about. And yes, I am going to summon the Drake Guard. They usually just hang about here and protect the camp. So they're actually pretty good. Alright, so I think the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to send Tandaris over here. With the Roy... Uh, I don't know if I need to use the Royal Stone here. I think they're regular Drake. Uh, I think... uh, let's see, these guys have what? They have 9 speed, so he should be able to murder them pretty easily. He's not very good against magic, but... We do have Ash with a barrier, so we should be fine here. Are the Drake cards not uh, subject to permadeath? No, they can die. So these are the items they come equipped with. Not a big deal. All right, I'm gonna send Jaka and Caroline this way, I think. Uh, I am going to barrier up Jaka as per usual. Do, 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 do. Also, I do not have a rogue to instantly find items, so that's gonna be a bit annoying. I'm gonna have to rely on RNG. The amount of unique map themes in this hack is legit so impressive. Manx send Jaka south. Why should I send Jaka south? Oh, I should have given her holy fire. Should have given her holy fire. Oh my god, look at the damage output of this woman. The throat is so broken on her. Oh my goodness, look at this damage. Oh, Natalie shows up in the north. Yeah, you're right about that. I do actually have to be cautious about that. You're right. You are right about that. All right, let's see if we can kill some... Um, can we kill some sword masters? That is scary. That is less scary. All right, dark spikes for the win. Let's go. Why are there still unpromoted enemies in Chapter 23? So at the start of every arc, we have a bit of a chill map with some lower level enemies to show that you can train some units if you need to. That is at least the design philosophy behind it. Oh, there's a wing clipper. Well, correction, there was a wing clipper. I guess what I can do with Natalie is I can just rescue her down with Little Man. Holy Fire on Helga would have been better. I agree. I agree. I should have put Holy Fire on her. She can use it much better than Theodore can. Oh, I forgot to check supports. I'm very bad at that. Off on Helga. Wow. No supports. Okay. Damn. Not a single support. Oh, perfect, perfect damage. Let's go. Tomb of Horus is going to be a fun chapter. It's not as hard as you guys think. Resistance on Halfdan, let's go! Oh, no, no, no. And I guess we can send Aisha down here. Yeah, probably not a bad idea. We can use the Hamurn on the dice, sir. I think that's probably a good idea. Dulam. Tomb of Horus is not that hard. I mean, the curses... If you get the wrong curses, it can get a little nasty, like if it, if it silences. But, here's the thing. Here's the really good thing about Tomb of Horus. Um, I have the Drake Guard. One of the Drake Guards in the Tomb of Horus comes with a restore staff. She'll run around. And she will, she will restore my mails when they get silenced, which is incredibly good. Yeah, Curse of Misogyny can proc at the worst time, this is very true. La la, ooh, here comes the Fenrir. Curse of Silence Women's. The curses are a fun mechanic. I'm glad you... I, I had a lot of fun with them. Enemies in Tube of Horus are kind of weak. Well, it depends on your difficulty. I mean, the monsters can be kind of nasty in their own way. But yeah, they, they don't have super high stats or anything. Alright, enemy dancers. Let's go. Do you guys think I'll get the boots? 
Do you guys think I'll get the boots? I'm gonna try and get them. They would be really cool. Oh, hi there. I should give myself a scimitar. They're great for training, uh... They're the best swords for training weapon skill in the game. They give... They give, like, uh... They give, like, five weapon skill per use. So, giving one to Jaka and using it to train his sword rank is actually not a bad idea. Ah, there we go. Ah, great. I'm stuck on guard duty. Guess I gotta be standing here all day. Twiddling my thumbs, picking my nose. I'll go crazy in this heat. Sheesh. Right, where's Natalie? Does she appear at the end of the turn? Hey, base Drake card, let's go. Wait, where'd the other guys go? Wait, what? Why is he moving? Well, hot diggity dog, I finally caught up with my old friends. I wonder how that nice boss man Bout is doing these days. Can't wait to show him how much Natalie Winters has grown. Bring forth the unknown reinforcements to protect those prison camps. Uh oh. Alright, so I gotta get Natalie down there ASAP. So, how are her stats? Yeah, they need some help, but that's why I'm gonna give her the Solar Brace. That's why I'm gonna give her the Solar Brace. There we go. So she should appear on my left, I think? Yeah, very good. That means I can recruit her with Jaka and kill the Nomad at the same time. Hmm, you look familiar. Well, howdy, if it ain't Mr. Staps a lot. I'm Natalie Winters. My name doesn't ring a bell. Remember when those tomatoes attacked my town, Silverwind? I told Big Boss Baudumon I'd leave and come back stronger. Well, here I am, Natalie Winters. Don't ever leave someone hanging. Now, where's Big Boss Man anyway? Ah, so you haven't heard. Baudumon was murdered. What? Murdered? That's awful. Who would do such a thing? His brother Mortimer. It was a political assassination. What a jackal. I can't believe e evil guys walk free in this world. Tell you what, Mr. Stabs a lot. I ain't, I ain't gonna leave you high and dry. Bossman saved my village, so I'm gonna fight to avenge his death. Natalie Winters always repair or pays her debts. Yes, sire. Yes, sire. -y. Well, uh, we could use more as mercenaries. Thank you for this, sis Natalie. It's like a, it's like how a fella I knew used to say, "We gotta kick some ass." Kung Fu baby, yeehaw! Such a chipper girl. I hate to tell you this, Natalie, but your brother is dead. Um, sorry about that. Really sorry about that. Alright, so we get Natalie back. Um, she, she, her stats are not super great, but I mean, it's a free hero. I'm not gonna say no to a free hero. And she has, uh, she has, a, she can get a regalia, so I definitely should do my best to train her. So I'm definitely gonna try my best. We'll see if I end up doing it or not. I'm gonna murder this warrior first and foremost. She's so gonna die. I'm gonna give her some stat booster to try and keep her alive. I'm gonna give her true Draco shield, a barrier staff. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling if I move forward here, though, I'm probably gonna die, so. I'm gonna, maybe I'll stay back and help fight the nomads. I don't know. I'm a little bit worried about these sword masters. They might be able to go up there and murder her. Um, kind of depends on what this guy does. I guess the dancer will probably run and, and help the dark mage out. So we'll do a short axe. I'll grab the uh, solar brace. There we go. That ought to help her out a little bit at least. I don't know if it will, but let's find out. Also, I really, really, okay, cool. Theodore can attack here. That's nice. Light brand Natalie. Here's the funny thing about Hero Natalie. She actually doesn't come back with great base magic at all. Ooh, okay. Uh, maybe Leviathan can help. Oh, 56 hit. Are you shitting me? Ugh. Wait, Haley doesn't have a killer bow? Why not? Why not? My goodness. Alright, maybe she can get a crit. That'd be nice. Any spoilers will get a permanent ban. I already banned four of you fools, so shut the fuck up. Wait, are people spo- You gotta be- Are they spoiling on purpose, though? Because that- that is kind of like- like, the big no-no, in my opinion. 
Okay, Slimax actually coming in handy here. There were spoilers earlier, no ban. Well, just because someone doesn't, you know. Ooh, let's go, Exorcism. Don't care, permaban. Yeah, well, if they spoil on purpose, yeah, absolutely, I agree. Otherwise, I think a timeout is warranted. Alright, I think the Scorch actually deals effective damage to the tents, because it's a fire tone. But you know what also does? The Ragnarok. Literally 1987, or whatever the hell that's called, yeah. Alright, let's get. S oh my god, the Ragnarok one shots the campsites. Let's go. Woohoo! We have brought down the prison camp. Protect those civilians. Yeah, let's go. Let's see, the Sword Reaver does not, but the di the Dicer is such a good axe. My goodness, look at this thing. Love the little details in this game, like fire being effective against tents. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, let's see, Dragonstone against this guy? So I think we'll just uh, we'll just attack these guys. Did you repair the dicer? I think I I will probably repair the dicer. Oh, that's smart. Use tense as concentration. Yeah, let's let's not call it that. Let's not let's not use that word. YouTube doesn't like that word. I I probably should not have read it out, but still. Manx, you spoiled earlier. Okay, I guess Hanako has to ban me now. Hanako, out of curiosity, what, <laughs> what happens if you tried to ban me? <laughs> oh, I found the silver blade, nice. Alright, should I just... You know what? Fuck it, let's just hammer in it. Did, did, the, did the stream crash if you tried to ban me? Oh, wow, I forgot how much experience the hammer and staff gives. My goodness. Hit points, magic, skill, luck, defense. Let's go, Ash. Ah, yes. Hello there, Mr. Varg. Bro, you see that? Yeah, bro. Looks like a battle's breaking out. We can take advantage and plunder the village, bro. Great idea, bro. Ah, hello to you, gentlemen. Such a lovely day outside. What do you want, bro? I was wondering if you two could tell me how to reach the Tomb of Horrors. I'm afraid I've gotten lost in this desert. It was a lot bigger than I thought. Bro, are you for real? The Tomb of Horrors? Nobody goes to the Tomb of Horrors, bro. I mean, just freaking listen to the name. Tomb of freaking Horrors, bro. You don't want to go there. Actually, I do. My family lost a very valuable tome in that place, and I intend to find it. You're going to the Tomb of Horrors for some book? You crazy or something? I'm still quite sane, at least as far as I know. Many from our house are not quite so lucky. Anyway, I must leave. Enjoy your plundering. Wait a minute. You know about our business, bro? Why, of course, you're just as brigands, and you're headed towards that village. Only a fool would be able to deduct your true intentions based on the evidence. Bro, he's gonna go tell Sethos. Yeah, sorry, bro, we can't let you leave. Your course of action is ill-advised. Your chances of success are slim. Even if you two team up against me, you will both be utterly annihilated. Bro, our entire gang is on the way. You don't stand a chance, bro. How many members does your gang have? 10? 20? I give you a 7% chance of success at best. Bro, this guy is arrogant. Let's teach him a rest lesson. Yeah, bro, let's smash his skull in. It never ceases to amaze me how easily you brigands throw away your lives. It's almost as if you exist solely to be slaughtered for entertainment. I miss Jesse too, bro. Ah, boring. I love the long-haired sage animations. They're very cool. Tomb of Horus is a reference to D&D. Yep, it is. but not squishy. Yeah, Varg is pretty, uh, Varg is pretty beefy. He's a beefy boy. Varg is better than Pent. Pent is pretty cool, but, uh, yeah, Varg is a cool guy. I like him. Bonk. Varg used L'Oreal. <laughs> yeah, he must be using some pretty, pretty good shampoo. That hair is luscious and long. Mangs, is that Runa's dad? What do you think? Google.com Yes, he is Runa's dad. I mean, it's pretty fucking obvious. He's a sage, he's got long blue hair. 
we all know, like, come on, it's Fire Emblem. Google.com <laughs> Google is my new favorite answer to anything. What was that countdown for? I want to know. What? What countdown? What are you talking about? Remember when I said autism was genetic? Look at Runan Vo- <laughs> Horrible PH. Absolutely horrible PH. <laughs> hey Max, just tuned in. Who have you killed up? Keep up the amazing content. Nice to see more horror slayers on this map. Lamo, my boy PH. Well, I mean, you can tell, you can see the death counter if you want to know who's dying. La. So in a way, Runa and Angulus are related, bloodwise. Yeah, they're literally. He's literally her uncle. Come on, Natalie, dodge. Ah, oh, I gotta get. I gotta get this girl barriered up and given her Draco shields. She's kind of frail at the moment. All right, here comes the dancers. Ah, oh, sorry. Let's go. Dancing for a skeleton. I don't know how that works, but... Oh, okay. They really like dancing for the skeletons for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but they do. Okay, thank you for that 1 HP. I really appreciate it, Drake card. You could have healed Natalie. That would have been even better, but you know, fine. Skeletons appreciate the jiggles. Alright, run away, little prisoners, run away. Watch out! Nomads are circling in our camp from the east! Don't leave me here to deal with all of them, that's too much work. Yeah, so now the Nomads are gonna appear from there, so... We probably want to send Helga back. Uh, with Dark Spikes, she can deal with, like, two per turn, which is really nice. Um, and then probably we need to send... Does Theodore have any? Yeah, he has the Dire Thunder, that's fine. Yeah, so... Hmm. First things first, let's barrier up Natalie. Hopefully the Drake Guard heals her later on, which would be nice. Theo has terrible sand movement. Yeah, maybe not the best choice. Uh, Haley, for sure. She has a... Did I give her a hunting bow? God damn it, I didn't give her a hunting bow? Bjarki has a hunting bow, doesn't he? No? Why the hell did I not? Okay, actually, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna grab a Draco shield, and then I'm gonna kill this guy. I'm sending Jaka up to give some proper anti-horse slayer weapons to these dudes right here. What? I don't know why I gave her a short bow. That's so stupid. Uh, so what I'm gonna do then is I'm going to do this, and I'm gonna take out some- I have like two hunting bows! Why the hell would I not do that? And I also have Horse Slayers for Theodore, so I'm definitely gonna give him that. There we go. You take that, you take that, you take that. You can keep the Killer Axe, I guess. Uh, Silver Bow is not gonna be that useful. Okay, very good. Oh boy. I was hoping Haley could get that. Okay, Hofta needs to go back there too. Should have put a holy fire on Caroline. That would have been amazing. Well, we don't want to burn down the tent. At least not yet. Bjork is just an archer now. That's fine. I mean, hunting bow is all he needs against the nomads, right? You don't need as many units for four nomads. Uh, actually, there's a lot more than four. Alright. Oh, let's gamble with the dicer. Let's go. Oh, 25 hit. Never mind. Never mind. I mean, it's not like we really need to. We'll just use Aisha with the dicer. Wah! 
Bows are more accurate than axes. Yeah, the hunting bows are the best. Speed, luck, defense. Let's go, baby. And we got the Doolam. That's a nice uh, thing to have for later. I feel like we should have made the fire stones effective against tents. Don't you guys think so? Go. All right. We have brought down a prison camp. Protect those civilians! So we'll let Tandaris, Aisha, Ash, and uh, the fourth unit deal with the reinforcements coming from the south. Civilians are not gonna die. I'm gonna see if I can get inspiration. That would be kick ass. Oh, I really wanna get inspiration. Firestone isn't effective against tents. Literally unplayable. Yeah, I know, right? How do you get ash? Uh, watch my video. It comes out tomorrow. Oh, it'll it'll teach you everything. What does inspiration do? Plus two attack and defense to all units within two tiles if you rescue every single civilian. La 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 la. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Careful, Natalie. Careful, Natalie. You can see she's kind of squishy at the moment. Ugh. Oh, it's a killer lance. And he actually hit me. Wow, that could have killed me if he had crit. Why is Natalie so frail? She's kind of bad on Lunatic, but I, I plan to train her up. I will I will try my best to train her up. Oh, the Lunatic's cap. Let's go. Lilanet is capped. Let's go. If you kill Natalie, give your farewells for that night. Yeah, I really want Hellblazer in the late game, so I have to try my best to train her. 34 luck is pretty good for a little of that. She has not gotten a single stat boosters. I, I plan to get... Yeah, I do plan to get Cyrus. I do plan to get Cyrus. Absolutely, I plan to get Cyrus. I'll train Natalie. Famous last words. I will! I absolutely will. Da, da. Okay, so now the nomads are gonna start. Can you heal Natalie? You stupid. Why are you healing ten? I guess it is the Drake card. But still, it's kind of annoying. Alright, we gotta get over there and recruit Bjark. Bjark? Bjark? Varg? We gotta go and recruit Varg before he kills himself. Or before he kills the dancer, which could very easily happen. La 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 la. <laughs> Bjark. <laughs> Run, 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 little civilians, run! Yup, here they are! Hey, hey, watch out, you idiots! Nomads are approaching! Don't let them ruin my tent! I really like this tent! Okay, so, well, yeah, you're probably right, guys. I really didn't need to send multiple units over here. Yeah, this was probably a bit overkill, let's be real. Especially considering how it got kills them with dark spikes. Honestly, Helga could probably deal with this pack entirely on her own, so that was kind of dumb, actually. Wow, she murders these guys. What the hell? Yeah, never mind. There was no need to bring all these guys over here. What does Helga have no field? She has the Pyreon shield. You know what? Screw it. Let's go back. Fuck it. Let's go back. <laughs> Fuck it, go back. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. And uh, Haley should have a killer bow on her. She really should. It is inexcusable that she doesn't have a killer bow on her. Alright, let's work on the next tent, shall we? Uh, we also gotta heal up Natalie. Very important to do that. Let's send Lilinette over here. Heal her up with a physic. I thought they'd be riding camels. So, fun fact, I really wanted camel riders in Styxia, but the camel, camel rider animations are really bad. But yeah, I did I did really want that. Absolutely, I, I did want that. Gotta love how dark magic has effective tomes against everything. Uh, does it? 
So we have Dark Spikes, we have Doolum. I guess, yeah, you're probably right, actually, now that I think about it. There are Camel Rider animations on the repo, but they're terrible. Point strength. Oh my god, this girl. This freaking girl. She's gonna cap everything, isn't she? She's gonna cap everything. This is incredible. Uh, Alright, so uh, I guess we'll let Natalie Winters get a kill here. Look at the experience she's getting. Well, that's an unpromoted enemy, too, so... Alright, so we're gonna give her... I think I have a Samba Toe that she can use against the Nomads later, so that's good. Definitely. And then Flame Sword is actually really good for her, too. And let's give her the Draco Shield. Samba Toe instead of the Killer Axe, for sure. And probably Flame Sword instead of the Short Axe. She uses it much better, I think. And then I do want to stop by the shop and get a scimitar. They're actually really solid. And yeah, we can just the nomad kill squad is like right here. <laughs> and then we can send Ash with the Holy Fire to deal with this uh, tent right here. Okay, we do have to get over to Varg. Uh, he does luckily have his Nosferatu Tome equipped, but I'm terrified that he'll go and kill Sari. He can very easily do that, you see. Don't forget the village. Yeah, I gotta do the village too, you're right. Okay, hopefully he'll go and kill the brigands. <gasps> oh, fuck no. Oh no, that's an 11% chance to die. Yeah, no, no fucking way is she dealing with all these guys on her own. She needs a holy symbol. Oh, thank you. Well, ain't that nice of you, Mr. Drakeguard? I appreciate that. Okay, well, Varg is gonna be busy with these brigands for a little while. Not a big fan of him equipping the Fenrir Tome, but at least it doesn't wait the Nosferatu, so that's good. Gunblade Knight donated five bucks for Super Chat. If I have one complaint, it's that there's too many units and it's hard to choose to bring each map. Yeah, that is a complaint we've heard before. Also, aren't there gonna be more nomads? Or are those the only ones we'll get? Okay, interesting. I, I thought maybe they spawn later? Hmm. Interesting. Well, um. Oh, the flame sword is so good though. Look at that. I will rescue Natalie to get her a little bit closer in on the action. Let's see if we can give her the kill. Oh, we can definitely give her the kill. Alright, Jaka, you need to run towards Varg right now. Uh, there are gonna be nomads coming from the south, yeah. There we go. That is, wow, the tents give no experience. What the hell? We have brought down a prison camp. Protect those civilians. They give nothing. What the hell? And yeah, I'm definitely going to visit this uh, shop with uh, Bjarki. Wasted rescue. Yeah, I I, I, for, I forgore. I forgore that they didn't do much. Get little Annette to grab the hidden items. I'm going to try. I think it's based on your luck stat in FE8, right? So, should be doable. Oh, shit. Tandaris does not. Oh. Okay. Rawr. Hmm. Okay, maybe we, maybe we do need Ash here after all. Yeah, we do actually. We'll send Tandaris to deal with the camps. Since he can't double these nomads, he's not very strong here, so. God, I wished I was that nomad right now. <laughs> Oh, uh, go to Horny Jail. Alright, don't kill Varg, don't kill Varg. That's fine, he can take three Iron Axes to the face. Oh, that's a crit too. Loving those Dark Roots. How did Albert die? He died to Apollo in the last chapter, believe it or not. Can Ash and Tandara support? There was a support written for them, but we didn't have space to insert it, sadly, because we ran out of space. But there was supposed to be one. It's a shame. I would have liked for her to have a support. 
But yeah, this chapter is definitely a lot easy, but if you've noticed, every star of an arc is a little chill. This is by design. It's to give you a chill chapter. You can't have every single chapter be hard. You need to have some breather chapters. This is definitely a breather chapter. Intended to let you grind up weakened units and stuff like that. No! God damn it. My inspiration. My inspiration. No. No. I forgot about that guy. Aww. Ah. Ah. Well, technically, I might. Oh. More Nomas are on their way here. Make sure you take care of them. I'm too lazy to do anything about it. Yeah. Bring forth under the reinforcements to protect those prison camps. Well, that's a shame. That is a big shame. Okay, so maybe- wait, 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 wait. Maybe we can set up a kill here. Um... Actually, no. We cannot. But, but I think I'm actually- okay, so we gotta be very careful here with Sari, as you can see. Uh, I think- uh, is it possible for me to reach? Okay. Um... Yeah, I'll need, I'll need to be able to recruit Varg next turn, if at all possible. And uh, this guy, he has a longbow and a battle axe. How much damage does the battle axe do? 18 plus 25. That's like 40. But it should be fine for Natalie to deal with that, I think. So there's no more Nomad. Did we cut the Nomad reinforcements, PH? I seem to recall there being a lot more of them. Hmm. Anyway, let's visit the shop with Helga. Yeah, Desert only affects cavalry in this game, yeah. So, uh, do we really need anything? I want Elwyn, but they don't sell that here. I guess I'll just get a Wind Tome. Uh, I actually do need some Thunder Tomes, though. They're kind of nice. And, uh, that's pretty much about it, I think. Maybe another barrier? Yep. There's a Dancer. Well, I'm not killing the Dancer. Yeah, armor too. Yeah, armor too. Okay, so I'm a little bit scared here because the Swordmaster might kill Natalie. And that's just not worth it. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, we'll keep Natalie around here. Uh, we'll start using those Draco shields. Seal up Pele. Mine's rescue Varg. I honestly I could have done that. Yeah, I absolutely could have rescued him, but I think I'll be fine. Hi there, Wing Clipper. How are you doing? Natalie gets a flame sword and a light brand for fire and light magic. Yeah, she can use pretty much yeah, she can use rune swords too. It's pretty nice. Alright. Tendis will be fine here. I think he will. Just on promoted enemies. I love the jock animation. They're really good, yeah. Wing Clipper is so trash in FE4. Yeah, it has very limited use. It doesn't really do a whole lot. Because it, its stats are so bad, and it's also super heavy, if I remember correctly. So it's super bad. Okay, hopefully Tendaris is fine here. Uh... I hope I'm not- I hope I don't put, like, a dragon axe on one of these warriors. <laughs> uh, are whites promoted? I think they are, yeah. They are, yeah. Oh! Bardish! It's a Bardish! Ow! Oh, he's pissed. Don't mess with the Nintendos, man. So those brigands, Natalie could probably... Oh, come on, stop it! How many guys... Stop killing all my civilians! God damn it.
Every single time. Every single time, you guys. Okay, the Drake card is finally returning to our post. That's good. And I, I think I can... I'm pretty sure I can recruit Vark now. Why would they even want to kill their own slaves? I don't know. If I can't have them, no one will, I guess. That kind of thing. Wing Clipper weighs 5 in FE4. Two more than the average sword. The reason it sucks is due to its garbage hit might a 6 iron sword. Yeah, it's just really bad like that. Oh my god. Come on, Vark. Get, get the fuck over here, Vark. Oh, yeah, get the fuck over here. I'm not in the mood to fuck around with you anymore, Mark. Like, get, get over here. Oh my god, am I still not in range? Oh, I got a holy sword! Nice! Cool! Okay, I am in range. Good, good, good. Alright. Natalie Winters. Go, uh, go deal with those guys. Alright. Greetings! Wait, you don't look like a Styxian slaver. Perceptive, aren't we? You have the bearings of an Andalon noble. What are you doing here? I am Varg of House Darkhold. Varg? Angulus' other brother? Older brother? You know Angulus? I see. You must be Jaka, Baudemont's ally. My little brother told me many stories about his rebel crew. How is the young prince doing? Is Thorgrim still sick? Wait, you don't know what happened? You don't know about what happened in Andalon? I'm busy scouring de Styxia's desert. No time to catch up on the news. A lot has happened. I'd explain, but we are in the middle of something right now. As it stands, any friend of Angulus is a friend of mine as well. Uh, yeah, about that. If you don't mind, maybe I can tag along. It's not like my search is bearing fruit. You search? I'm trying to find a place called the Tomb of Horus. It's an ancient uh, ancient ruin, long lost to the average Styxian. Oh well, I happen to be traveling with a fellow who might know the location. He's quite knowledgeable about Styxia. Hmm, I'll have to trouble you then. I'm at my wit's end with this search. Stick around and I'll see if I can introduce you to him later, Varg. Many thanks. All right, so I don't think Varg has a regular mend, and uh, I think he can use physics at base. Yeah, we don't need that illuminate right now. Okay, yeah, he can use he can use uh, physics at base. That's good. That's good. Uh, so here's Varg. Uh, I actually think Varg is one of the best pre promotes in the late game. Uh, he's incredibly strong. Good bases. His growth rates are a little low, but he doesn't really need growth rates because he's got all the stats where he needs them. He also has one of the best passives in the game. Uh, defense and resistance plus 5 to adjacent allies. This is insanely good for keeping your allies alive, if you remember to take advantage of it. Which uh, may not always be super... Uh, may not always be doable, but it, it is really good. He is a little slow, but he can get the Void Flare tone. Uh, which is a regalia that has 40 might. So you can use that to have a lot of fun. Wood Flare will make him get doubled. Yeah, which is why you never want to let him have it. You never want to actually let him use it. Uh, if he can be enemy faced. Oh, I uh, just realized we should go visit here. We should definitely go visit. Yeah, your mounted units kind of suck in this chapter. That's just how it is. Not much you can do about it. Alright, I still have to visit the armory with Helga. I'm gonna get a scimitar. I really like these. These are actually pretty cool. They give a massive amount of skill. Uh, as far as any items from this, I actually think make getting a couple spares wouldn't be, or... Spares are pretty expensive, but short spares are better than javelins at this point, and you can definitely afford to use them, so... I'm gonna get a bunch of short spares for Jaka. And same thing here. Tomahawks are nice. Tomahawks, they're very expensive, but they're worth it, in my opinion. Some short axe, too. You definitely don't want to be using hand axes at this stage. There we go. And now, we can start attacking this guy. Let's see, maybe the Royal Stone. Yeah, let's just let Tendaris be enemy faced. Watch out for your inventory space. I think I'm okay. And it doesn't matter if you can't double when you when you deal 50 damage with Void Flare. Yeah, you can literally just murder things with Void Flare. It's really nice. It one-shots a lot of things, which is very helpful. 
All right, Natalie. This is where you earn your. Uh, this is where you earn your promotion against these unpromoted uh, brigands, and eventually warriors. But that's fine. Is Haley in Swordmaster range? I don't think so. Is Haley in Swordmaster? No. No. He's gonna go for half done and deal zero damage. <laughs> it's fine. Oh boy, this guy hits hard. It never ceases to amaze me how strong these Void Walkers are. They're incredibly beefy. I don't know if Tendaris doubles this guy. Oh, he will now. Nano Machine, son, let's go. Now that's a full level for Tendies. Nice. Let's go. Hit points, strength, magic, skill, speed, and defense. He's gotten speed on both of his levels, which is very good for Tendies. An elixir! That actually is just what he wanted right now. Why was that a crit? Uh, because it was a boss. Uh-oh, no monster incoming. Uh, uh oh, 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 that's not good. That is not good. Uh, we gotta get Natalie onto a wood. We gotta get Natalie into the forest right now. I think that guy can attack her now. Uh-oh! Stinky! Ah, it's fine. Ooh! Manx was in fact not fine! Woo! That was scary. Yeah, sorry. Okay, don't kill my Haley, please. He's fine. Oh, you could have. You could have healed Lily. I mean, I'm just saying, Drakeguard. I mean, I appreciate your healing for Varganol, but you could have healed Lily. I mean, come on. All right, Natalie, you get onto that forest tile and you stay there. Oh, actually, that flexor is kind of garbage, but uh, um. Can he use Recover Staves? I don't know if he can. He's got B rank. What is Recover? Is that B? Oh, it's C. Never mind. Okay, good. Uh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, there goes Inspiration. I think you can lose a few of the prisoners and still get it. Here's the question. How much damage do they do? With silver bows. Um, let's see. So she has 21 defense. She'll have 22. So I don't think any of the axe users will hit her. So we're going to do this. She doesn't do a lot of damage with the flame sword, But she's, she's going to level up, which is nice. Google it, Mangs. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> oh, the smugness in that comment alone is more than I can bear. Borg has too much utility. I can't not use him. Yep, he's pretty solid. Oh, finally, this girl gets Dire Thunder. Finally, this girl gets Dire Thunder. How about... Time. We have brought down a prison camp. Protect us to the civilians. Okay, now we just gotta deal with the final one. Uh, we gotta deal with that. Let's see, I'll use a longbow, I think, to kill this uh, this one. Manx almost killed the dancer. No, I was never going to attack. La, 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 la. Give me that concoction, bro. I want to be on full health just in case. Yeah, this song is really good. It's catchy as hell. Ba da da. Da 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 da. 
Let's heal up chicken tendies. We took quite a lot of damage there. Thanks, try and grab the Hamurn staff before you trigger the boss. We'll see. I mean, I don't have a thief, so there's no way for me to reliably get the tre the, the, the desert treasure, so... It's not really that much I can do about it, to be honest. We have watched several slave caravans pass our village in these past few months. Our law prevents the racing of unwilling Styxians, but foreigners are not citizens. Those poor souls are going to be turned into undead slaves against their will. I found this nice sword in the sand earlier. You can have it if you help those souls. I'm sure there are lots of other items buried in the sand if you know where to look. Have your keen-eyed thieves on the lookout for treasure lost beneath the dunes. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, there we go, Shamshir. Anyone wants to do the Shamshir build? So, I know that there's some items down here, I think. Let's see if I can find them. Alright, it's time for the Natalie training session. I'm gonna go get a Pepsi. You level up yet? Rip brick. <laughs> oh, let's go. Flame sword to kill thugs. I mean, you gotta do what you can. Okay, here we go. Ah, she does well again. Oh, never mind. She got it. I have a feeling she. Oh, she does double the nomads. She's fast. Nice. This is perfect. Oh, interesting. Going for... I guess Jocko was the only target in range. Yeah, we're, the, the Natalie train arc. We're training her up. Alright, where are the nomads at? I'm very sad. I really wanted... Wake up, flashbacks. We're about to have company. Nomads inbound. Doesn't sound too difficult. Uh, let's have a Bjarki. You can't crit the tents, sadly. But, you can do this. I, You know what I need? I need Brave Bows. That's what I need. I need Brave Boys. No, Brave, brave, brave Bows, not Brave Boys. Ugh. Mangus is literally spawn camping the nomads. Yeah, you know. It's nice to have been having worked on this game, so I know well. Ahmed literally tells you, Halftan got magic again. Halftan got magic again. Again! Two magic! Umbra axe Halftan, anyone? That's incredible. Oh, I can kill the tent right away, let's go. I'll just use Scourge. Let's say, I'm, I definitely want to hammer the uh, Ragnarok. We have brought on a prison camp. Protect those civilians. Now that you've cleared the camps, you are no longer on the clock. The map will end once all slavers on the map have been dealt with. Brigands and dancers don't count. Until then, protect as many civilians as you're able to. Ooh, ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. How many? Oh shit. Uh, I can't kill this guy. Yeah, I cannot kill this guy. If I do, well, I guess the nomads will show up, but still. Yeah, I gotta go get the village, you're right. Uh, if I kill the Nomad, then the map ends. Just equip an Iron Sword? Yeah, I think I will, actually. Or just a Silver Sword, yeah. New enemies will arrive in two turns. Yes, they will. 
Map doesn't end, thanks. Uh, yeah, it does. Oh, we gotta kill Sethos. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You gotta you gotta kill Sethos first. I I forgot. I forgot about my own game. I'm a fucking genius, you guys. Um, the silver sword is being wasted. Uh, well, we have a million gold. That's fine. Yeah, Sethos. We have to kill Sethos first. You're right about that. Alright, Ash is level 10. 20 defense. She's a thick mama. Look at this. She is a thick mama. Thighs of steel. Alright, let's get this village. Have you seen those women being forced to accompany Lord Sethos and his men? They're led by Sari, one of Styxia's most famous performers. A real beauty she is. King Kong set Miss Sari and her dancers along the slavers as entertainment. Probably to keep them from ripping each other apart under the desert sun. Oh, I can only imagine the things they must put up with surrounded by those brutes. I hope you haven't heard any of the dancers. They are innocent bystanders in all this. Take this place. Just promise me that you won't lay a hand on those poor girls. Rune sword. Yeah, I do need to save gold for Aubrey. I need to say I need to save fifty thousand gold for Aubrey, which is Yeah, you're right about that. Does anything unique happen with Amelia and the Tomb of Horrors? Uh no. No. Only Varg. It's thirty thousand gold for Aubrey? Yeah, if you recruit her with Coulter. But I don't have Coulter, so it's gonna be fifty K for me. Man, that's actually gonna be tough for me to get. I, uh, you get 10,000 from, from Darius. I do wanna buy some Eternal Seals, though, in the, uh, in Chapter 25X. So, it would be really kick-ass to get Aubrey, though. But getting 50k gold for that, that's gonna take, that's gonna be hard. She's not worth that money. She is for me. I need every unit I can get in Chapter 29. Oh, Darius' support with most female units gives 25k. That is a very good point, actually. That is a very good point. Yeah, he gives a black gem to Helga. Uh, we should probably do Darius Helga, yeah. Alright, run, run, run. At least I'm gonna get some good rewards from these Slayerverse. I may not get inspiration, but I'll get most of the other things. Oh boy. Watch out, idiots! A large group of nomads are headed this way. You guys are probably screwed. Woo! Alright, well. I guess we'll bring back the Flame Swords. Well, those warriors are gonna be a nice experience for Natalie, for sure. Yeah, Darius in most of his B-rank supports gives a black gem to his partner, uh, which is worth 25k, which is pretty nice. Oh boy, these... Yeah, we gotta get down here ASAP. Helga can spawn Camp, camp Sethos, which is gonna be very nice. Well, Lynette's not gonna be able to do a whole lot, but, uh, you know, if I just move everyone in here, they should be able to murder Sethos as he spawns. Do, do, do. Egg missed my very important donation. No, I just ignored it. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, Anthony BM donated $13.99 Canadian dollars. Poop, poop, dale, pee pee, wee woo. <laughs> it's that guy again. <laughs> it's the wee woo, wee woo, pee pee, poo poo guy. <laughs> guy who donates just to say poop, dale, pee pee, wee woo, wee woo. <laughs> oh, this guy, this this fucking guy right here is so fucking funny. Uh, let's break the Alfire Tome. It's had a good run. Imagine burning money just to make poop comments. Yeah, it's like skibbity toilet, but uh, but in comment in super chat form. Invert. <laughs> I love this. I think it's hilarious. Uh, all right, Varg, let's get down here. Actually, I should probably keep Varg around here. So he can uh, heal Natalie, in case she needs healing, which she probably will do. 
Royal Stone for two damage. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, Manx, I concluded the game on hard, and I tried Lunatic. Did all secret events and managed to keep all units alive. Very nice. Ooh, magic on Natalie. Uh, I didn't get anything extra at the end of Chapter 32. Did I do anything wrong? You didn't get anything extra? You mean you didn't unlock the dev battle? I completed the game on hard and tried Lunatic. Did all secret events and managed to keep all units alive using safe states. Didn't get the ex So, in addition to the secret objectives, there's also a turn count. I bet you went over the turn limit. So, it's not, it's not enough just to do the Lunatic objectives. You also have to not spend, like, more than 25 turns per chapter. So, I bet you got Flag of Shame. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Uh, the Flag of Shame circled you out. Yeah, PH is a bit of a psychopath, I know. He knew that people would try to go for this objective, and he made it as hard as possible. Alright, Sethel should be coming in now. La la la, la 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 la. They're trying to steal our slaves. Form ranks, we won't let them. Sethos has finally shown up, that's good. Means he's not running back to daddy. Well, what are you waiting for? Ice him. All right, so now we just gotta route the slavers. Do all of these guys have melee weapons? Oh, they do. I guess it's silver axe time then, or silver sword time. Well, this is gonna be some nice experience for Natalie Winters right here. You do not want to unlock chapter 32, it's scary. I might unlock it via cheats just to just to see if I can Iron Man it. Just for the hell of it, you know? Alright, so uh, we can actually kill most of these guys turn one, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, we can, easily. We do have to kill Sethos, though. <laughs> yeah, so here's Sethos, he's very scary. Um, he buffs the speed of nearby units, which is very scary, but we do have Helga with dark spikes. I don't know who you are, but you're not taking our slaves. Oh, 2% crit, let's go. King Kong Gooks, forgive me. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, this boss music is amazing. Hit points, speed, defense, and resistance. Let's go. Alright, so I think we'll leave one Nomad so that Natalie can... Actually, I really don't like that Scimitar. Um, let's see. Bjorki goes here. Yeah, that's a one-shot, alright? Yeah, I'm probably sending Helga out of there. Reason being is that scimitar, the last one had a small chance to kill her, which I am just not dealing with that. Chapter 32 made me very, very sad. Yeah, I can imagine. Ooh, Sword Reaver, let's go. Actually, we need the Leviathan to kill this. <laughs> The Shamshir is actually a really good build. In case you guys don't want, know what it is, it's training so Sham to be able to... Uh, yeah, why the hell not? It's training Sham to be able to use the Shamshir, which is actually pretty good for him. Believe it or not, it's actually really good for him. Um, because... Okay, I'm gonna see if I can find some more... Oh, I got the pet rock! Nice! Uh, because when he crits and gets a Glacius, he kills everything. Because a Glacius crit is an insta-kill for everything. Because it's like 30 times 3, so he deals like 90 damage with a Glacius crit. Alright, Natalie's gonna finish off these three warriors. That's very good. Get some experience on this girl. She hasn't gotten the best level up so far, which is a little disappointing. Alcacer donated 4 dollars to Superchat. Hey, Mangs, I submitted the portrait showcase last stream, but you might have forgotten about it unless you didn't want to, which I respect that. Uh, why don't you just resubmit it for this uh, meme review, Alka, and I'll, I'll take a look at it. 
la, la. Yeah, you, you train Shom, you do the strength magic swap with him, and then you give him a Shamshir. It's a pretty fun build. Magic skill. Okay, my Natalie's leveling like trash. Um, that's sad. That makes me very sad. Gels is a Paris on turn 13, yeah. Alright, I think... I think we're probably ready now. Yep. That's the last enemy. Natalie Winters has... Uh, okay. I don't think we're gonna do Halt on Helicop. Doesn't seem like a smart thing to do. Um, let's give this kill to Haley. I feel like she she probably needs it. After all, Natalie is kind of bad. Are you getting sorry? Yes. Not only am I getting sorry, I'm getting the boots too. It's too bad I did, didn't get the inspiration though. Yeah, it's gonna take one more turn for this map to end. One turn after all the slavers have been routed. But I think I should get the top reward from the from the prisoners. Alright, we've done what we can. Let's head back to camp. Are you folks alright? Thank you for coming to our year aid. If you hadn't arrived, you should have gotten there sooner. So many of you died here. I feel so responsible for your loss. We heard terrible rumors of what was going to happen. They were planning to turn us into walking corpses. None of that will happen. Now, you're safe with us. What was the reason you were captured by this caravan? All we did was protest King Mortimer for not helping us when we starved. We didn't do anything wrong, we only voiced our discontent. Any dissenters were thrown into the dungeons without even a trial. Sometime later, that Styxian man, Sethos, arrived with his slavers. They picked the dungeons clean, not a soul remained behind. I cannot believe King Mortimer would commit such terrible acts. He rid himself of protesters by selling his prisoners. Even for Mortimer, that's... Where are we to go now? I will assign some men to escort you. Hide near the Emperor Mountains. Silvermist Village to the East should keep you far away from prying eyes. How long should we hide? Until we deal with King Mortimer. Wait, I remember now. You're Baudemont's army. I saw you on the day Malthrak burned. You came to our aid when no one else would. Yes, we tried to save the city. In the end, it was a futile effort. Say no such thing. Mortimer may have driven you out, but we never forgot. You lot are heroes. If you had not shown up that day, we would be dead. We found useful items in the camp of the slavers. We want you to have it. Thank you. Have a safe journey to Silvermist. Alright, so here are my rewards. I get the Holy Axe. And I get the White Gem. That's nice. That ten, that's 10k gold. And that's about it. Okay, so I didn't do too well. These Dixians are fierce. They've impressed me. I'm surprised no one, not one tried to flee. They must really value their slaves. I imagine a painful death would await the, those who had tried to run away. Some of them suffered painful deaths anyway. Try not to sound too happy about it, Olga. Looks like our new friend is coming this way. Well fought, well fought. Or oh, an impressive showing. I particularly enjoyed how those fools screamed. <laughs> you seem a little too happy despite how those Styxians were slaughtered. They were your own people, yes? They were my father's soldiers, and they were evil slavers. I shall not mourn them. You were true to your word, Darius. The slaves did come from Andaron. Of course, you can trust me. My liege does not lie. My liege is more honest than you deserve. I think it's time for you to tell us your true goals. Why are you going up against your own father? I don't mind helping you in your ambitions, Darius. I just want this to be a fair trade for our equal efforts. Very well, I suppose the continent will learn the truth soon enough. You see, my father is no longer human. What? He has become a lich, an immortal king. He wishes to rule until the end of time. Did he learn nothing from the previous two kings who attempted the same? This is what caused the Lightbringers to declare war on Styxia in the past. Yeah, too bad those Lightbringers aren't around to stop him, eh? They're too busy rottening in the soft Andron soil to notice. Well, you're not wrong. If your father achieves his ambitions, he'll become too powerful to stop. An undead lich can amass more and more power over centuries until... until he becomes invincible. I've heard the stories of Lich Queen Morganis. I'd rather not relive the old legends in my time. I used to tell my father I hoped he would enjoy a long and healthy reign. I did not mean that he should rule our country for all eternity. Suddenly, this all makes sense. You will never become king. Not as long as your father rules, and you will rule forever. Unless I have something to say about it. You mean to murder your own blood? If someone is something is already dead, killing it is not murder. At least that's what I was told. <laughs> At least that's what I told my own friend, old friend Lorenko. Then I ran a stake through his cold, undead heart. Screw you, Lorenko, you fornicated with my wife. Just kidding, that was a lie, I was never married. <laughs> that lich is no longer my father, for all intents he died long ago. 
I have no qualms about putting him in the grave, neither should you. I have no skin off my nose, but I've already killed the grandmother. Old people become evil monsters surprisingly often these days. Help me depose my father and you will have a powerful ally. You already have the Vikings and the dragons on your side. Still, even with their might, you have little chance of victory. However, if the new Styxian king were to support you as well, we could crush Mortimer. Come with me to the capital of Quadim. Quadim, meet my father and see for yourself. You want us to meet your father after we just killed this man? I already have spies who will inform him that bandits did it. This would not be the first slave caravan to disappear. Come with me and pose as my foreign mercenaries. What are we going to do? Storm the throne room? Not exactly. My father, he keeps a tight leash on my movements. Obtaining permission to leave the country did not come easily. I have to report back to him on the regular or he grows angry. What does he have to do with me? I want you to pose as a mercenary I've hired for protection. I've been feeding him lies about attacks on our border patrols. You will act as a bodyguard who protects me while I'm traveling. Mm, well, I'm good at acting like the strong silent type. I used to work as a mercenary before Bodimon hired me. Will Congress suspect anything? Hopefully not. I have to report back soon, though. If I delay, it will make him paranoid again. I see. Let me discuss this with Halga and Tendaris. Give us some time alone. Very well, but don't delay. I have to return by the morning. You'd better not spill the beans or I will unleash your, my full power. The skeleton is bone armed and fully operational. Helga, Tendaris, you heard him. What do you think about this? The Prince of the Styxia is ambitious and his goals are obvious. He wishes to become king, something he will never accomplish on his own. Imagine living as a slave to your undying father's whims. He needs us for his plan to succeed. His interests thus align with ours. Trust will only bring a relationship so far. I'd prefer to rely on benefits. Your grandmother said the same thing to me. You take after her. Mmm. I say we go along with Darius's scheme. I'll always prefer, prefer a human king's rule. We don't have the Lightbringers to fight off a second queen Lich King with Morganis. Best to kill Kangax now before he has a massed country destroying strength. Agreed. Darius has proven himself to us. We have plenty to gain. Hornheim and Timate will not have the power to take down Mortimer. A third ally in Styxia would allow us to clinch the victory. Then it's settled. We'll go along with Darius's plan. Thank you for your thoughts, Helga. Dendaris, appreciated. Mm. Mm. A moment of your time, love. I want to speak with you. I'm listening. I'm sorry. I'm responsible for taking care of the girls you saw among the slavers. I noticed your men did not strike down a single one of my girls. I'm very grateful. We did not come here to kill innocents. We were here to rescue our enslaved people. King Kangax ordered my girls to accompany Sethos and his slavers for entertainment. We danced for them, we kept them company, and we endured their wretched behavior. We took no pleasure in it, I assure you. I believe you. However, we cannot let you return to the capital. We risk the king learning the truth. My girls have no desire to return to Styxia. With the slavers gone, they are finally free. King Kangax will assume they are dead or abducted, so I doubt he will search for them. They have decided to seek refuge elsewhere, traveling the world as performers. That is fair. The world would do good to see a bit more of an artistic side of Styxia. However, I have a question to ask. Do you currently have a dancer or bard in your service? We do not, actually. Then I offer my services to you as a gratitude for what you did here. I assure you, I'm quite adept at bolstering morale with my dance. Your men won't regret it. Very well, sorry. I welcome you aboard. I look forward to watching you dance. Oh, before I go, I forget. One of my girls wished to give you this as thanks for her life. Yeah, boots! That one goes to Tandaris, I think. Meanwhile, back in Andaron, along the northern coasts. Uh, Var you get a Varg cutscene if Jaka did not recruit him, yes. But we already recruited Varg, so we already got his dialogue. Cassandra, what is the meaning of this? What are you doing? Mortimer, so good to see you. Have I offended your grace? Don't play word games with me. Tell me why you're killing these people. This goes against my commands. Mother, even for you, this is going too far. Did you not hear about the revolts? These peasants spoke against you. They said that you would be an even worse king than your father. So you're killing them all? Who gave you the right? What will you have us do? They committed treason. I will not summon an age of terror upon Andaron's people. I intend to bring about an era of peace and prosperity. Now, now, little Morty, let's not act all high and mighty. Not after you ship those poor prisoners off to Styxia. I think you're wise enough to see some cleansing must follow. We cannot allow people to speak ill of your reign, can we? You! Especially with enemies like these. Jacka 
especially with enemies like Jakas rallying to the east. Are you going to make an enemy of Flame Guard at this time? Do not attempt to worm your way out of this. The people here may have qualms about my reign. Morty, look, there's still a survivor. King Mortimer, you villain, you detestable bastard. Ten thousand curses upon Thorgrim's hellspawn. My friends, my neighbors, all dead because of you. No, I never meant for any of this to happen, miss. I will do what I can to fix the damage of Cassandra Raw. If you would just give a chance, I will comp... Ah, Runa's mom. Wait, let me... Let me see. I don't know if she has a mini, actually. Do, do, do we have Runa's mom on here? I don't think we do. Nah, I can't find it. It'd be funny to put her on the death counter. Oh well. Better to silence them when they start acting too uppity. That is it. I have had enough of your insubordination, Cassandra. Do you wish to face execution? Mortimer, Mortimer, wait. Calm yourself. Please do not judge my mother harshly. Surely she will see the error of her ways. Yes, of course. I should have asked you first, Great King. That was my mistake. I am but a stupid woman after all. Do you think clever words will save you? It seems his eminence does not find my jokes amusing. In the future, I shall defer to your judgment. This I promise. The next time you disobey me, I'll put your head on a spike. Rihanna, with me. Yes, Morty. You're pushing your luck, Cassandra. I would be more careful where I you. Oh, pish. What's little Morty going to do? Kill his wife's mother, his cute little auntie. Mortimer has already slain both of his brothers. Do you think you are any safer than they were? You make a good point. I know for a fact Mortimer did not pretend to love Baudemont. By comparison, he would not have shed even one tear over your demise. Yes, yes. No need to lay it on, you've said enough. Good, now that I've taken... Not that I'd care if he ended your existence. It would be a net positive for Andalon's stability. Don't you have something more important you should be doing? Like tracking the Jaka corpse? Worry not about my competence. I keep an eye on Jaka's movement. He has recently traveled to Castle Dragon. Oh, this is supposed to be Drake's Spire. Ah, interesting. To say... Final rob! Final rob coming soon, guys! He intervened in that mannequin's assassination, earning accolades. Now he resides within Drake's... Now he's his Drake's fire! Buttering up to Maid's Kings further. <coughs> he still remains here? From what I've heard. Hey, <laughs> Is something funny? My spies tell me that Jack and Tendarius left... Da! Ah, no! She said it again! New rom! Final rom! <laughs> Two nights ago. It seems your spies are not up to snuff as mine are. So he left. Where is he gone now? I'm not certain, but I know that that boy is up to no good. Jaka is fueled entirely by his revenge. Jaka may only be a commoner, but his father was an excellent soldier. I've been reading up on his old records. We mustn't underestimate the wretch. Let's see which one of us can prove more useful to the little king, huh? Hmm? The first one to catch Jaka wins. Hmm, always with the games, Cassandra. <laughs> Final rum. Final rum. Final rum. I can't take this. I can't stand that woman. Morty, I'm sorry. I didn't know my mother did this. She killed all those innocent people, those villagers. It's unforgivable, these nobles and their games. I hate all of them. I know you do, Morty, and so do I, but we must remain patient. The Day of Reckoning is drawing closer. Remember our plan. Trust the plan. Trust the plan, QAnon. You're right. I I'm sorry, Brianna. I didn't mean to lose my temper. I understand you better than anyone. You don't need to apologize to me. But I do. I hate all of this. Why did Bowd have to find a Lightbringer? He was never supposed to die. He was to be my shield after I defeated Randall. I'm so lost without his encouraging words. He treated me better than I deserved. But ultimately, I spat in his eyes. You have to be strong. Nothing can be gained without sacrifice. Heavens, Bowdemon was such a good man and a kind brother. The Divines are truly cruel. If you ask the Divines for strength, will they freely grant, will they freely grant you strength? Or will they grant you the chance to become stronger? If you want to change the world, you have to act cruelly, Morty. Not to others, but to yourself. You're the one who told me that. I was. The Divines are testing you, Morty. Will you buckle under the pressure? No. My will shall become unbreakable. Thank you for your words, Brianna. If I didn't have you at my side, I don't think I could have come as far as I am. You must be willing to sacrifice everything. Only then will we obtain a, a world free of evil. 
finally done. Then what was the point of killing Baudemon in the first place? Um, you need to see his dialogue in the final chapter, he explains it then. So, uh, it is actually pretty well... Like, he does actually, like... I'm not gonna spoil too much, but there's a good reason for it. Alright, short meme review. And then it's off. Alright, super short meme review, guys. A video from Honomod? Sure. We have to... Honomod's videos I will show, unlike Hanako's videos, which I will not show. I'm not watching this FE4 video. I don't know why everyone keeps sending it to me. It's not that funny, guys. I watched it. Uh, and keep in mind, if you want me to see a video, you can't just send me the video file. I can't view that in OBS. Manx, I think you forgot to say. Really? You can just resume now. There we go. If you forget to save, you can just resume. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's gonna be for next stream. That's gonna be for next stream, you guys. All right. <laughs> I love how Baudemon is part of Jacka's harm. That's cute. That's cute. Biraku, he rebuilds the Orleans army. Yeah, Violet is named Biraku in the in the un, the unofficial translation. It should, he should say, "I am Biraku of Coyote's Men." <laughs> Capri Sun Orange with a little violin hidden in there. That's great. Oh, I love this portrait. It's the best. Milk the skeleton it gets stronger. <laughs> I ensure I am sure you all wonder how I can see you when I don't have eyes. I simply communicate with the skeletons inside you until we meet again. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. Brace yourself. Winter is coming. Let's go. <laughs> Silence! I crit you! So here's the, uh... I want to submit this character from another game. I'm currently playing as a rogue for Fire Emblem Arena first, but I decided to go for one of my OCs. Pretty cute! Yeah, that is cute. It's hard to make good hats, so... Yeah, she's, she's adorable. <laughs> Bookie! <laughs> Wreck it, Ralph. Let's go. This is not a meme. Sorry, chat. I cannot send super chats for some reason, so here we go. I still have the original Path of Radiance copy for you if you want it. I want to give it to you as thanks for the entertainment over the years at Rambodon Saga. It really is the most fun I had with Fire Emblem in over 20 years. If you want it, let me know how to contact you. Much love. Sure, you know what? I just doxed myself to get the Neo Tank figurine. Uh, I guess you haven't seen this. A fan sent me this. Just kind of cute. Um, so it, I, I'll send you my address, and you can you can send me the. I'd love a copy of Path of Radiance, man. I'd love it. That is like a collector's item, so I'd love to have it, even though I don't have the console for it. But sure, that's very that's very fine of you. Yeah, I'll dox myself. Why not? All right, we have two videos to watch. Two shorts, actually. So let's just get it out of the way, I guess. All right, we have two shorts to watch. I'm 
I'm an expert. <laughs> I waited for three and a half years. White man did it in one week. I waited for three and a half years. <laughs> white man did it in one week. I said I waited for three and a half years. The white man did it in one week. <laughs> I waited for three and a half years. Ah, that's great. White man did it. That's great. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Super short Q&A. Let's see if I missed any donations. I uh, don't think so. Auro masks. Does the weapon Jaka get from the devil get stronger? Because it's pretty weak. Um, it's ridiculously OP, my man. It, it gives him... It gives him 5 to every stance, it is unbreakable, it's 1 to range, 30 crit, and it also gives Devil Reversal to anyone who attacks Jaka. So basically anyone who attacks Jaka has a 32% minus their luck chance of backfiring. Or th sorry, 31. So it makes Jaka nigh unkillable, it's super good. Creative name asks, how was your day? My day was really good. Uh, Bethany and I went uh, out uh, doing some shopping, and then we came home, and uh, then I streamed. And we're going to Oslo tomorrow to look around. Uh, Cole asks, can you find the phylactery? No, it's hidden. Hanako asks, I'm making a beta tester fight. Will you play it? Sure. Sure, sure, Hanako. Uh, Bethany told me about this, actually. Donlot asks, how high do you think your chances of beating the game are? I think they're very solid, because I have some really powerful units. I think that there are... There are... Two roadblocks in my path. It's chapter 29. That one's gonna be hell. And the final chapter. The final chapter is going to be very, very difficult. Uh, especially if I do everything right, there will be an extra boss in the final chapter. Those of you who know, know. If you get the hidden regalia, that unlocks an additional boss. There's an additional ancestor in the final battle. So I'm gonna have to deal with an extra boss, uh, which is going to be really, really hard. Wolfric asks, best regalia in your opinion? Um, I'd say... Uh, I'd say the best regalia... I, I think the Gale Shot is ridiculously good. Uh, but in terms of, like, pure power, I guess the Rose Thorn, probably? You can get it very early, and it's just overall really strong. Gale Shot, I'd say, is one of the best ones for sure. Ephraim wants to know what color Bethany's hair actually is. Uh, so Bethany, she used to be blonde when she was uh, when she was younger, and as she grew up, she became gradually more brunette. However, she dyes her hair blonde. Um, so she is like, but she's, I would say, like, uh, depending on depending depending on the season, I think her hair is either darker blonde or like darker brown. Alice asks, is the Alderaan Saga music free to use? Um... Ha! I mean, obviously I'm not gonna come after you with a shotgun if you put it in your hacks. Um... I would say, I would have to take, I would have to discuss that with my musician trade star, because it is his property. If I'm going to go on out on a limb, I would say that I don't think he would like to have other people use his music in his hacks. I could ask him. I personally don't really mind. If you want to put an Andron Saga OST track in your own hack, I'm like, fine, do whatever you want. Like, I'm, I'm not bothered by it personally. But my musician may have some qualms about it. I'll, I'll, I'll ask him. I'll ask him if he wants to make the Andron Saga OST free to use. Um, did I get a $100 donation? I didn't see it. What? She dyes her hair blonde to get Smang's appeal. It's not blonde. It's not wrong. Look, I tell her I think she's pretty as a brunette. Like, I, she doesn't have to do it for me, but she, she insists on, on, on dying at once, so. Oh my goodness, 100 bucks. J. Raygon donated 100 bucks for Super Chat. Totally hyped for Rebellion Saga. I think Andoran Saga has a lot of potential for many stories to branch off in the main game. Here is more money for the Andoran game cartridges. Keep up the great work you do. Thank you so much. I am currently waiting for more information. I have a guy who's contacting another guy who makes cartridges. And he's, he, he's keeping me updated on the process. I am definitely going to be printing up some cartridges very soon, you guys. 
Thank you so much, Jay Ragon. That's gonna help. They are going to be a little expensive. We're, we're probably talking like 40 bucks per cartridge. Uh, because he does it. He, the thing is, you can get cheap, shitty cartridges that break, or you can get proper ones. So, I don't know how many of them I'll be able to, to produce, uh, but we'll see. Arthur Gamol, 2MB, asks, Manx, you forgot to give Clock the Ash fan art again. Uh, well, it should be uploaded to the meme drive, so you should probably be able to find it there. I always put all my memes in my meme drive, so... Wolfric asks, if more ROM is made available for the ROM, will the cut supports be the first thing added? Absolutely. If PH actually goes through and rebuilds the entire ROM, then yeah, the cut supports will be added. 100%. Surlif asks, considering PH is deleting the useless stuff from the ROM, can we expect some sort of cut content to be added in the future? Uh, so, PH is not cutting anything. What he is doing is he is making a new ROM from scratch. So basically, what, what PH is doing is a process called rebuilding. He takes a fresh, he takes a clean, empty ROM, and he starts to copy-paste over from the other one. The reason why this saves space is because we waste a lot of space saving over, saving over, adding things, saving over, saving over. Out of the 32 megabytes that are available in the ROM, 15 of them are used by Sacred Stones, and then we add another 17. And probably, I'd say, maybe half of this is us just overwriting existing content. So by copy-pasting over from a old ROM to a fresh one, PH could probably copy the whole game over and still have like 10 megabytes left remaining. That's just the process of rebuilding the ROM. The downside is, it takes a long time, because he has to manually copy every single scene, every single unit, every single enemy, he has to manually copy it. This is a process that can take months. But if he insists on doing it, yeah, we can get a rebuilt version of Andron Saga with the cut supports. I would not mind that, like an Andron Saga Ultimate Cut Edition or something, like uh, Extended Ultimate Edition. I would absolutely not mind that if PH wants to do that, I'd love to, but I also don't expect him to do that because that's a lot of work. It is it is a hell of a job. The, th the, the thing about this job though, it's grunt work. It is grunt work. It, it doesn't require a lot of brain capacity to do. You can put on a podcast and you can just sit and control C, control V, control C, control V, control C, control V. It's like, it's not very engaging work, so if you if you, if you you have a lot of free time on your hands and you just want to listen to some podcasts or audiobooks, you could feasibly get it done in maybe three weeks if you're willing to spend like five or six hours every day doing it. And it doesn't require a lot of thought from you. You literally just have to copy-paste one line, copy-paste another line, copy-paste another line, copy-paste another line. So if he's willing to do it, amazing, but, I'm, but I don't expect him to. Um... Pearl Haru asks, are better growth rates good for a short ROM hack instead of more experience? Hmm. It's a good question. I personally like increasing experience gains or reducing growth rates because I like watching the I like watching the XP bar go up. If I had the choice between like the, the problem I have with very high growth rates is that it really creates a power spike in characters when they outlevel it. Because Fire Emblem is a game about snowballing, and once a unit begins to snowball, that means they get very strong, so they get a lot of kills. If a unit has very high growth rates, that can very easily break the ROM. So you have a unit that can just solo the game, basically. So I prefer high experience gains instead of high growth rates, because I like seeing the bar go as it go up. Uh, Hayden Master asks, are there NPCs bosses that were meant to be usable but aren't for whatever reason? Uh, yeah, um, Beatrice was playable at some point, she got cut, um, we just didn't have the time or energy to add her to the epilogue. Um, what else? Beatrice, definitely, and, uh, I think we also were going to add Alexander's sister as a playable unit. And the reason being, they almost added her, but I had to stop them because I didn't have the time to add her. So she was going to show up in Chapter 29, and uh, you, she was going to join you in Chapter 29. And uh, the idea was we were going to give the player a late-game Gladiolus unit for those who did not train Fred. That was the idea of having Alexander's sister. The problem is we didn't have enough time to actually implement that. So, um, yeah. Those are the only two I can think of right now that we added. Um, but who knows? In the extended edition, maybe. Any plans for Labor Day? I don't really celebrate Labor Day. Uh, I, I think, I think Bethany's family do. Uh, but I'm not. I'm Norwegian, so I don't really give a shit. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll probably walk around and do something nice. 
Um, Wolfric asks, Andron Saga 2 with TLP style voice acting. That would not be possible unless we used Lex Talionis. Meng hates the working class. Absolutely. Fuck the working class. Nah, I'm joking. Uh, Davis G asks, Boulder Skate when? That'd be a fun stream for a Sunday, actually. Yeah, like a Boulder Skate stream with four people. I would like that. Inkling asks, run, hey, question Davis G. Could we do Boulder Skate hardcore? Like permadeath? You're dead, you die You die in the game, you die in real life. That'd be, that'd be fun. Gabriel Clemens asks, Do you know Vandal's Hearts, Manx? No, never heard about it. Uh, Hanako asks, Jaka's daughter getting Dragoon if he married Jahira? That's a great suggestion, actually. Cell uh, asks, Manx, would you guys add another difficulty if the rebuild is successful? What's wrong with you? Isn't the Lunatic hard enough? I mean, in the Blinding Bolt, we added Norn mode, which was like a super hard difficulty. Maybe we'll do something similar. Tracia Fog for every chapter in the game. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's enough for me. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys on Sunday. Hopeful that the secret video will be up tomorrow, but I'll make no promises. All right. Take care. Good night. Have fun. Bye, Bethany. And take care. <laughs>